into it. Right. Ooh, and we're here. Wait, so I was talking before the intro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was cold. <laughs> you us, and we're here. Live. Coming to you. Me, me, me. What is good, party people? It's the Killing Time Boys, and we are back at it once again. I am Corey. We got Ronaldo. We got Reginald. And we got Broderick. Why do you, why do you always put an emphasis on his name? Because it's like rock. We got Ronaldo. We got Reggie. We got Broderick coming to the stage. Because he wants to be a stripper in his other life, and I'm just mm, warming okay. him up. All right. Hey. <laughs> Follow me at OnlyFans at Chico Stick. <laughs> Chico Stick? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> OnlyFans. <at> hey. <laughs> Good to see y'all First boys, man. <laughs> Happy Monday. <laughs> this is yeah, how yeah. we start this shit out today. <laughs> Chico Stick, though. <laughs> y'all know what we do first. Oh, everybody got their shot? No one wants this, uh, what, I, what, what I'm sipping on over here? No, nobody wants No that. one wants that. Dirty Go tequila ahead. that you drink. What are you, what are you drinking over there? Adictivo right? tequila. You should actually try it. I like for real. Try it. It's pretty good. Maybe later. Yeah, it's actually really not good. right now. What are you drinking? Um, I'm drinking whiskey. I'm. I'm gonna let you. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Y'all boys been all right, man. Yeah, yeah, boy. It's a different. It's you know, it's our second Monday recording. I like Mondays, man. You do? I have the whole day off, so it I'll be ready. Me out today. I'll be ready. Oh, I was stressed out today. I like Mondays. I like Mondays. Okay. I think I like Mondays recording better. Okay. Just another minute. Monday. It's a little table. Oh, oh. All right, man. Everybody ready? Yes, Let's sir. get this shit going. You ask me what I'm sipping on. Right. Let's go. And Happy Monday, boys. Cheers, big ears. Yeah. All right, man. All right. We got that out the way. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have a good weekend? Good week? Anything real quick? Uh. Uh, I want to get into this chicken sandwich thing that we got going on, so that way I can eat while we doing this. Okay, I'm greedy. Me, Broderick, I realize you like my food brother. Okay. Whenever some food comes up, you like, I'm with it. Okay. <laughs> Me and Broderick don't make money bets anymore. We make you got to buy something food wise. He's, he's your spirit animal. When it comes to food? <laughs> yes, <laughs> he is my alter ego uh, when it comes to food. Yeah, All right, food spirit so, animal. So uh, who? I'll, I guess I'll introduce this. Go I mean, ahead. you can't. I look. If you don't watch the IG page, like five minutes ago, we decided that we were going to. Um, everybody's always talking about chicken sandwiches, so yeah. we figured we put the shit to the test today, and we went and got chicken sandwiches from KFC, Chick Fil A, Popeyes, Churches. That's everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here we go. They ain't paying us for this neither. No. Nah. Get your shit together. All those you affiliates that I named. Hey. And then. But we're gonna we're gonna put it out here. So we doing blind taste test. We don't know what's what. I literally, I'm looking at them. I don't know. What I feel like I, we should, oh, I know what's the same. Like I don't. Yeah, but it, but everybody has to agree on which by the bun you gotta you gotta agree what is with what. So she, and by the way, I'm mad at you two for the Chick Fil A spicy chicken sandwich without pepper jack cheese. Yeah, just I want y'all to I know right now. So let's do the, get y'all shit together. Let's do the, I actually have to. I have to agree with Reggie. Okay, come <laughs> like, on, man. Get the pepper jack. Any, cheese, anytime bro. you get a cheese option, you have to go pepper jack. So okay. I will tell you that that let's do the only one that comes with lettuce right now is the Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is the Chick Fil A. So let's go there first. All right, Chick Fil A first. Oh, shit. The one with the lettuce. The no, one the one with lettuce, lettuce Renal. Mm -hmm. on. No. Oh, this one. That one, the big flaky, flimsy lettuce. Yeah, that one. Oh, this is like the supreme one, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The deluxe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good level of spicy. Mm -hmm. I like it. No. No? Because it don't have pepper jack cheese. You should have got it with pepper jack mm -hmm. cheese. What kind of cheese is on it? Kobe jack. Nasty. Mm. Kobe jack's good. Pepper That's jack. not a bad sandwich, though. I'm telling you, next time you go, just get it with pepper jack. I'll pay for it for you. I got money. I know you do. <laughs> 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 I didn't tell you that. Nigga. He got money. <laughs> right. First of all, I think we all get afford a $7 piece <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, you know, funny story. My dad, when I was a kid, he wouldn't let me put cheese on the hamburgers at Burger King. What? He'd be like, we got cheese at home. Get it plain. Cheese. And then put the cheese he in the was He was trying to, try to say that 39 cents. <laughs> he was trying to say that 10, 20 cents. Hey, man, he was a single father, man, doing his best. You hey, know that shit saying? adds up? Hey, it does, man. Okay. All right, what's next? Um, mm. So that was chicken. So program. check it out. How about we go by like, the bun and what color it is. That's what I said. So, okay. 
The Damn. darker, taller bun. This one right here, guys. Which one? With the pickle and the with mayonnaise. The, with on the top. pickle, okay. At the bottom. With that's the yeah, pickle at the bottom. That's that's mayonnaise up top. One, okay. I think. This is Church's. I think mm -hmm. that's Church's original. I feel like this might be Church's. Mmm. I never had the Church's one. Me neither. The pickle adds a good little something to it. I fucking hate pickles. I do too, but it adds a little something to it. Mmm. Mm. I like that. Mm. Oh, that chicken's good. Mm -hmm. Hey, that chicken's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good little bite to that chicken. Mm. That was not Church's. That was Church's. KFC, maybe. Nah, KFC ain't that good. Mm. Okay, what's next? Mm -hmm. We should have marked these. We failed. <laughs> Super fail. Now we just eating in the day, Mike. Yeah. Day, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we failed. Who the hell said this? So, how was your weekend, Corey? <laughs> we, Let's go with that. We're not and we eat them. We I mean, we can eat them. We can, we can eat and go um, at the same time. It was Taste good, them. man. Me, me and the wife went out to San Diego, San Diego for the weekend. You know, my, my other home. Um, my other home. We uh, went to Taco Fest. You know, as we do every year, we go to Taco Fest. It was a great time. If y'all have not checked out the SoCal Taco Fest, y'all need to go. It is a day of tacos and drinking. Been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? It is great. Great time. We go every single year. It's like our one thing that we got to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, came back home. Um... Made the uh, made the Erica Badu concert last night. She put on a great show. The guy before that opened for Alan Stone. Alan Stone, sir, you put on a great show. Erica did too, but the Alan Stone guy really surprised me. I, I knew I was gonna get from Erica, but the Alan Stone guy really surprised me. Um, yeah. How do you guys feel about audio books? Hold on. We're not audio book. Mm -hmm. mm. I take it you was listening to an audio book on your drive. You mm. drove down there. We drove. Mm. Mm. I uh. Actually, was in San Diego as well. Yeah, he was. Okay. <clears throat> entire Channel 4 News team, I'm Veronica Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo is so petty. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Sant Diego. <laughs> a whale's vagina. <laughs> Man, it's a whale's vagina. Um, okay. No, nah, um, San Diego school, man. San Diego is actually my... If I wasn't for St. Pete, it would be my favorite city in the world. Man. Okay. Um, I love San Diego. I got spent... Made many memories there. Um, well, we stayed at the uh, Hotel Del Coronado, man. First of all, that's money. Hey, that's money. money. That's money. That's over there on the little island part. Coronado Island. Ah. Don't let them do you like that. First no. Of all, first of all, I've been looking at this hotel. Don't act I was like, like you look, know what? First of all, they act like they ain't bougie niggas, too. First of all. Because <laughs> we all some bougie ass niggas. <laughs> first of all, this has like been like one of the... Rare occasions that I've planned something for me and these. How many times have you saying? stayed at this hotel? Oh, this is the first time. Oh, okay. first time. This is like we we went there one time, like two years ago. She was like, "Baby, I want to stay here," mm -hmm. and I was like, "I don't make that much money to stay here yet." But when I do, but when I do, I'm we on. Well, yeah, when I do, I'm gonna word being. I'm gonna take you there. Yeah. And then what did he do? He said, last "I'm on," yeah. and we gone. And last week, I went secured the bag. I went and be. <laughs> I, 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 and it was a cool man. It was really really cool. Um, I mean, you know, I don't. It's a prestigious place. Actually, I didn't even know, but Nisha was telling me that the reason why it's so popular is because like a lot of presidents have stayed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a lot, a lot yeah. of presidents yeah. have stayed there. Hmm. And I didn't even know what I was yeah. doing. I didn't there. know. Nah, I was yeah. walking through that thing with my Crocs shirt <laughs> off, drunk. You know what I'm saying? Beach, so it, that's beach the tiger. You know what I'm saying? Beach. So yeah. I, first of all, I, that's San Diego. No, <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> Yeah. But um man, San Diego was cool, man. Uh, we got to hang around, eat some good food, and just chill out and can, vibe. You know what I'm saying? Can I just tell you your city taco recommendation was great? Oh uh, man, City Taco was great. Well actually yeah. who actually hit us up with City Taco was um her uh, sister. Okay. Her sister was station uh, was in the Navy station in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um we'll talk about that. And, uh, More perfect people in this world. I love it. it. Oh my goodness! But um, well, no, you can't eat other chicken sandwiches yes, without you wait. what they are. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, uh, Reggie, what's wrong with your brother? Hey, he out here running all the red lights today, and then you look okay. at him and he like, oh, fuck y'all, right, y'all right. taking too long with y'all story. Uh, but yeah, San Diego was cool, man. Um, like the hotel was really, really nice. If my you haven't stayed good. there, <laughs> they are good. I'm hungry. If you haven't stayed there, bro, please. Please, okay. please stay out there. Oh yeah, please. It's, a, I mean, it's just, just definitely for a party on the left. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? Um, since this is the off season, it's actually going to be a little cheaper. So I would definitely recommend y'all looking in the near future. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Okay. Stuff. Right. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Had a great time. Um, 
Yeah, man, that was it. We yeah. actually got to see each other for like 30 minutes. Yeah, I, I, I went out and um got to see Corey, you know what I'm saying? He mm-hmm. gave me some of that nasty tequila that he likes to drink right now. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> the um, same, but you... I'm not even going to tell you how he made me drink it, but... <laughs> no, tell it, tell it. <laughs> so, <laughs> tell it, as, as I meet him at this bar, the bar is closing. And they don't want to give me any cups. And I'm like, oh, whatever. Drink it at my cup. No, not only. He no, waterfalled you? Bro, he didn't waterfall me, bro. He took a fucking to-go, like, soup bowl. <laughs> And poured you it in it? And, and poured You was drinking liquor first of all, like a homeless first of all, person. First of all, bro, hold on, bro. hold on, hold on. You accepted this though, bro. First of all, you I was thirsty. Drink it. You I was thirsty. It, yeah. I, 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 I was like, thirsty. It's just disgusting. <laughs> it was probably because you put it in a fucking soup bowl. <laughs> yes, yes. That's that's probably why I never drink that tequila because right. he gave me two of the fucking Tupperware soup. Nah, bowl. Nah, hey, now yes. he's now hey. he's forever. Now he's scarred. Yeah, now he's forever scarred. Presentation is everything. It is. That is true. Everything. Ronaldo, how was your weekend? Uh, I had actually a very interesting weekend. Uh, I, so I worked all weekend. Okay, I did uh EDC this weekend. What's the next sandwich? Is that drug? Okay, so hold on. No. So, <laughs> so, that was a good one. <laughs> no, I did not. You know do what? Project will be here all night, folks. <laughs> I did not do any drugs. It's a musical. Which one? Which festival. one are we doing next? Which one did you already bite into or not? All three of these motherfuckers <laughs> left. Probably because I was hungry. I didn't eat no lunch or anything. Which you one can't you put chicken into? in front of a black person and say you don't what, eat it. Whatever you. Want to buy I'm gonna you. bite the one with this. Corey got two sandwiches left over there. No, you mad? Corey, he got one in his hand. I have three. I got three too. What, what happened to the? F- I ate the Chick Fil A one. And I ate, oh, the, you ate the whole ate the thing. Two. You didn't just bite me it? too. I ate the other two. That's, That's what you were supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> These Tampa Bay niggas failing. No, <laughs> like <laughs> you just supposed failing. to. Say, haven't y'all like did like wine tasting? You just sample. You sip. First of all, First when, of all, all when I did a wine tasting, it was with you, and we got drunk in the fucking total wine. True. You didn't learn anything. Not a no. fucking thing. <laughs> I learned to go my ass to Kona Grill you like just, I planned on it. Supposed to one bite and, and then I took move the, on. And I took a bite and I ate the rest of it. <laughs> <Corn. laughs> right. I ain't I ain't one to waste <laughs> nothing. No, waste not, won't not. <laughs> All right. So the one that I ate after was I don't know. It's got like some little sauce on the bottom of it. That's the that's the spicy. This one right here with the flat top. With the pickle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, with no, the flat no. top. This one. It's, this one. This one. So it's that one, Corey. This one. That one. It's that's got like a that's little the orange. Spice. That's the ch- that's the church's spicy. It's got a little orange at the bottom. Like that. that motherfucker is good. Church might have been the best sandwich. Yeah, that, that <laughs> <is good. laughs> that's the one from church. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, church that's not bad. My motherfucker was good. Hey, that's bad. That's good. Mm-hmm. Church might be best yeah, sandwich. I'm gonna go ahead and go in and let say uh, church got the best. Sandwich. Okay. Mm-hmm. But um, hey, that, ooh, hold on, I got a little aftertaste right mm-hmm. now. That motherfucker's mm-hmm. good. It's right. a little bit spicy. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I worked EDC this weekend. It's a music festival. It's a uh, Electric mm, Daisy mm, Carnival, mm, exactly. Mm, 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 right. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> this shit is wild to me. Like I've done it before, and so you know, those of you that don't know, I do traffic. So we had to set up the traffic for um, inbound and outbound. You know, it was out there pretty much all day. But um, so I didn't know. I didn't realize the times that they run. That's good. So the times, like this fucking festival, it goes on all day. No, like. Starts. I don't know exactly like when it starts, but it's, I I had to start at three o'clock. Like that was my start time, three o'clock till basically two in the morning, damn. right? No, you say damn. Mm-mm. They don't finish mm-hmm. until like seven in the morning. I heard. Yeah, yeah I heard. So mm-hmm. so I didn't know that. I thought I'm like shit. Like at one at two o'clock when we out of here, these motherfuckers speak. should be leaving like an hour later, right? Them them speak because we've do, because night. we've done because I done NASCAR. We did the exact same thing because it's all at the same spot. Mm-hmm. So when we do NASCAR, it's the same shit. Like once we do the the switch or whatever for outbound, but I didn't it, I didn't think about it until yesterday when this we do. Broderick done ate all his sandwiches. I ain't <laughs> snitching. <enough. laughs> when we do when we do the outbound for NASCAR, you have two left, Broderick. Like mm-hmm. you. Like you realize that that all the cars are starting to come or whatever, but when we did it for EDC, nothing, nobody was coming. So I'm like, oh shit, okay, well whatever, that was easy. Um, but this yeah, they don't they don't start leaving oh, yeah. until like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. So, but so there's a couple things that happen. So being that you know I do you know road construction or whatever, they're building this new overpass right here at Tropical, hmm. okay. Tropical and and the 15. Mm-hmm. So um, <clears throat> Saturday morning. I get a call from uh, the guy that I meet out there, and he's like, hey, man, just so you know, I'm out here on the, the uh, what you call it, job or whatever, Fisher job, and a trash truck 
crash and hit the um, K rail that's out here. Oh. So what we did, so just, I mean, just give you guys a little bit of background. It's going to sound real technical. And you guys don't, aren't going to know what the fuck I'm talking about. But I'm, I'm definitely I'm not. I'm going to dumb it I'm down. Definitely not. Reggie's gonna definitely going to know, but I'm going to dumb it down for you. So there's two lanes of travel going under this new overpass that they're building. So they're building like a flyover. Okay. There's two lanes of travel. And because of the special event EDC and speed and the NASCAR was coming, they had me draw a plan that created an additional lane that went under it, but it split around where the support beams were at. So where the support beams are at for the bridge, I created another lane to go around them. It's a tight little lane. It's probably about 12 feet or whatever. I so twelve feet. <laughs> well, by regulation, <laughs> by regulation, it's supposed to be twelve feet. Ain't well, my, no, it ain't my right of way. No, this they is, can go down to ten. This is this is in dots thing. I, I'm trying to know what I'm talking about. No, yeah, you well, know. No. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. <laughs> so, so this is in yeah. dots thing. They wanted to create an extra additional lane because they didn't want traffic to to be backed yeah. up going to these events or whatever. So I created this lane that went around the pillar, and then they would come back, and then they'd be on their lanes or whatever. So Saturday morning. A trash truck is driving up the freeway and is in this lane. And he's about to go into the additional lane. And he decides And realizes no. that and decides or thinks that his truck is too big to go into it. And but he doesn't. Panics. He because panics. The, because the trash truck is way wider than 12 feet. Exactly. No, 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 no. No. It could it he no. could have fit. He, he could have fit. Twelve foot lane is is the max that you will ever get anyway. I'm sorry, I'm a janitor. I don't know. <laughs> so twelve so twelve. <laughs> I'm 12 sorry, feet, I'm a janitor. Feet, a semi I don't can get know. through. Okay. Mm. Twelve feet a semi, it's gonna be tight, but a semi can get through it. Like literally like a semi can get through it. Um and it's probably not even twelve feet, it's probably fourteen to be honest with you. It's probably from striping to striping is twelve, so K rail to K rail is probably about fourteen. So he had more than enough room to get through there. Mm. Um I said fourteen to fourteen, but fourteen feet. Um so at the last minute, he decided he didn't want to go yeah, into wrap the, it up. He didn't want to go into this lane. <laughs> no way to go the fucking K rail lane. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. At the last minute, he, at the last minute, he decided he didn't want to go into this lane. Overcorrected, hit the barrier rail, ping pong through the whole thing, ping pong, ping. Oh, and then yeah, rolled his a, semi. That, no, and that, and that shuts down the extra in, lane in, in the closure. Yeah, that shuts down the whole lane. On my way out there, so so, so he calls me and he's like, hey, man, just so you know, I'm out here on this Fisher job, a semi hit the, you know, barrier rail or whatever. And I'm thinking it's nothing. Like, we get calls about shit like that all the time. That shit was backed up. I can see that shit from Prim where it was talking about it. They closed the freeway. Yeah, at Lamb. So I'm coming. So I'm coming. At At Lamb. Lamb. At Lamb. I was leaving from Prim and I seen it and I was like, you know what? Not for fucking me. So I was coming into work. So from Prim? Yeah, I went to Prim. On they had Saturday. it. They had it on the board. Oh, yeah. they had it on the overhead. Saying, hold on, it was backed up all the way. Down. No, no, no. They, no, it, it was backed the, up from like fucking. Because I took a picture of it and sent it to the in our group, you, in our work group chat. Yeah. I'm like, hey, just so y'all know, this shit's got this shit on thing. And and Garrett responds. He's like, he's laughing. He's like, bro, I've been out here all day. They they should have like. Exaggerated the expected yeah, they part. Said, they should have said, "Go the fuck home." Yeah, they, yeah turn around and go they the fuck said, home. Because, they because said, if Rogue. you close down that shit right there, it's it's you're not going anywhere. So my my whole thing was is that I was surprised that like dude could have knocked down that whole fucking freeway. Corey, we can just eat the next couple because these niggas ain't. I still don't got care one left that I ain't tasted. They yet. don't care about our lives. What's next, man? Oh oh, and then and then I'm um, just two more things on EDC. So um, what one the time like was that? crazy. What you got left? Like? The pick on top or pick on bottom? Pick on top, pick on Both bottom. my pickles on top. No, they're not. Pick on top. There's one. Oh, you're, you're saying what you're stupid. <laughs> you the one cuddle? You facts. Your mother. So um, the second <laughs> thing, the, the, se- <laughs> the second thing was, so after Let's we go. get everything set up on Saturday, we're just down here at, at, at the <laughs> boulevard and uh, Craig or whatever. And um, the... We're just sitting there, just chilling with the cops, like Metro or whatever, just sitting there chilling. And all of a sudden, we hear... That must be KFC. All of a sudden, we hear this uh, fucking muscle car just screaming down the road. I'm talking about I'm talking about flying. It, so it comes... We're, you know where Eagle Trace is. So he made that turn, Fast and Furious style. <laughs> Burnt the whole corner. It was a white Hellcat <laughs> Challenger. Burnt that fucking quarter Fast and the Furious style and then flew up Craig. I promise you, by the time he got past Eagle Trace, Eagle Trace is, you know, I don't know, it's, a, it's an apartment complex. 300 feet. By the time he got past it, he had to have been doing 100. God. Had to have been Dang. doing 100. Yeah, That's how fast he was going. Mm-hmm. So 
he flying up up Craig Road. Next thing you know, like we're down there with motorcycle cops. Like yeah, Woo! yeah, they start. Everybody starts chasing. Boom, yep. boom, boom. Let's see who can catch them. Because you know boom. what they told each other? Whoever catches them, give me a fucking chicken sandwich no, no. from fucking <laughs> with a biscuit. No, so, so, so a little. You know, you know that's my ass. A little, a little background on it. So, so we're like, dude, like, what the fuck? Like, dude, we thought dude was just like, you know, mm -hmm. just flying down the road. Come to find out. So Garrett goes over and talks to the cops because, of course, the cops are chasing him. You can hear them talking on their scanners. Mm -hmm. Apparently, down at one of the gates, so nobody would let him in. I guess he didn't have the right credentials or some shit. He pulls out a gun and points it at one of the ticket dudes that that wouldn't let him in. The ticket dude backs up, gets high, gets NHP. NHP comes over. He points the gun at the NHP oh, dude. Oh fuck! They are it's high speed chase going Ecstasy down Las Vegas Boulevard. It's a hell of a drug. It, it was a high speed. So where we're at, yeah, like literally where we're at. You make that turn. The dude, there's a motorcycle right, cop right, right there. Hold on, right outside the base. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <gasps> yes. So, so we're right there. There's you know motorcycle cops or whatever right there. So there was a young dude right there. The dude was finna throw his spike strips out and and get him or whatever. But you know that turn. It's a, it's a, come, it's a wide turn. He was gonna come. You can make that, it hot. Yeah. You can but, make that turn if, hot. If he would have spiked him on that turn, oh, nigga, he would have been in that Seven Eleven. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say he would have been like, in he, that Seven Eleven. Fucking rolled that fucking car, so he didn't spike him. So the next day. Uh, we're the I same motorcycle about, cop. Y'all have to talk about it again. The same cop is out there. So one of the dudes comes up, one of the workers comes yeah. up and talks to the cops, and he's like, "Hey man, like, did y'all ever catch that dude? Oh, and he got away. My bad, I forgot that part. He got. Yeah, he's away. in the helicopter. They, they didn't catch if him. If he makes it up, Craig, he and he runs a couple of they lights, mm -hmm. if he gets on that freeway, you ain't catching that, him. And he got away. So the motorcycle cop told, like, the dude comes up and he's talking to the motorcycle. Cop. I was like, "Hey, did you guys catch that that dude that was in the challenger? He's like, "Nah, man, he got away." And the motorcycle cop was like, look, first of all, he's in a Hellcat. Mm -hmm. We're not going to catch him. No. The only thing that, that's going to catch him is the, hell the, is the NHP car mm -hmm. because they're, they have superchargers. They're a little modded out. But our fucking motorcycles, they're just regular Harleys. There's yeah. nothing, there's they, nothing new to them. catching them over. He's like, if that, that motherfucker is gone, like he's, he's gone. We ain't catching him. So, Not even what I like when the bad guy wins. <laughs> so come to find I like out. It. I like it when the bad guy wins. So come to find out, like I said, like the dude. He probably showed up tomorrow, the next day. No, that's what we were saying. Like, dude, he had tickets. <laughs> He's coming back. He's coming back. Yeah. Out. He's coming back. Cold the he fuck had tickets. Out. Not, in the Not in the Hellcat, but he's coming back. So, um,. Yeah. Like we're, we're talking to the, the cops and, and we get a little bit more background on it. And the dude's like, look, so the dude that was going to spike him, he's like, dude, like I'm, I got my spikes ready, yada, yada, yada. And I'm looking for lights coming down because it was dark. He's like, I'm looking for lights. And then the lights like he wasn't coming out. Like I couldn't like read how fast the lights were coming. Then all of a sudden he's like. Uh, like three light poles in front of me. I'm He's like, there. I'm like, oh, is that the car? Boom. Yes. <laughs> and he was, <laughs> and he was past them already. He was flooring. And that, and that that shit, was, but that shit was funny though. He was like 140, 150. Nah, man. Hey, he was flying. Got shit, away. Man. He was flying. But yeah, man. Other than that, just seeing you know a bunch of naked white girls out there all Ooh, weekend, not around. I mean, it's EDC. That's they just they just be white naked for no reason. Girl, I got that white. Girl, Girl. So all right. What about you, Reg? Uh, I did absolutely nothing. What the hell was you public. doing out in Prim? I'm talking about you had to come back from Prim. So you told on yourself. I'm talking I, about you was doing. I nothing. may have had like some money, a little bit, a little bit of money, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go out to Prim. I want to go shopping and get me some lottery tickets. So I get out there, and then I was like, hmm, oh, oh. it's shit open. Can I say something? What? I have never been in that lottery place. Oh. This weekend was my first time going. You to never been there. This weekend was my first time, and I love it. Cause you never take that drive. You always fly. Well, I no, no. I just nah. Drive. He don't always. I used to try to drive all the time. Once yeah, a month. he just don't stop. But I just never stop. You, you never, never, never stop at Buffalo Bills and rode a roller coaster. Well, you don't have to. First though. off, sir. Like no, I, I don't ride roller coasters. Yeah, Bro, exactly. Every you time, know he's every time super me, scary. Every time me and he should go out there, I have to stop there. No, but okay. Number one, Corey's super scary. Number two, he's. You don't have to stop number, in Number Prim. two, he's super scared. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to stop in Prim. Like, literally, you can drive from here to L.A. without filling up. Yes. Me and Nisha used to go but, there all the time. So I used to get dumb high and get on that roller coaster and have the best time. I used life. to get dumb high. So, so, Damn. I, I, need you to eat, I need you to finish your story. And I need you to eat that sandwich real quick because I got my winner of the chicken sandwich. This chicken. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. So I, um, I decided I was going to go out there and do some shopping or whatever. You were shopping? I was I was bored. I literally yourself? didn't have nothing you to do you on treated, Saturday. You treated yourself? 
I I don't I mean I don't know Why what you call treaty the the because I didn't have nothing else to do and I've always been I go to the malls here all the time. But so what'd you buy yourself a prim? I like um, I bought the what? I got myself well number one there's only four stores open in the outlet. Okay, literally, Tommy Bahamas, t- uh, Tommy Hilfiger, Levi's, and and Michael Kors. Mm. That's it. So what'd you buy? So did you get a new purse? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I did. No, you I went and Levi's. I got food in my mouth. I went and Levi's. Did a little, bit of, Levi's, did a little bit of shopping. I bought me a a, a nice. I bought me a cool ass flannel though. Okay. At least I think it's cool, bro. I'm actually in the in the market for a flannel. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I bought me a cool Both ass like flannel in the, in the market for houses or yeah. cars. Though. Yeah, no, I bought me a cool for ass flannel, flannel, bro. And then I've been looking. I've been hiring those um, members only jackets with the fucking where you can put the pins, like the flight coats, kind of side. Flight so, suits, flight jackets, kind of sort of. The but pilot jacket. Yeah, yeah, but it's like a, I've been like eyeing. Them, like, yeah. yeah, I've been eyeing those a little bit, so I bought me one of those finally. Um, I had a bad one back in the day. What color is it? I lost it. Black with the red interior. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. red interior. I like, I like the one with the black and orange interior. Though. Isaiah had one that's, that was green with orange interior. Yeah. Do we call the inside of a jacket interior? Huh? What's it yes. called? What's it called? I have no idea. The lining? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't, I don't care. Know. I'm gonna call it an interior. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyways. So I did that, came back home Saturday. I didn't do absolutely nothing. And then went to church on Sunday. I got offered some tickets to go to Golden the Golden Knights Knight game. You guys weren't here when Otto was working. Everybody we all had left other and Roger was back. I he didn't respond to my message. Oh. So Broderick was not here because he did not respond. Yeah, I probably um, I got back late Saturday. No Sunday. Oh Sunday, I was. You was here. Yeah, I was. Uh, just not talking to me. No, I don't know what I was. Doing. I thought we was better than. What that. were the seats? <laughs> we were definitely me and Nisha were definitely getting. No, I don't want to know. Busy? No. <laughs> what? Yeah, I felt the beat. Yeah, I felt, I felt, I felt, I felt the beat coming. <laughs> we were definitely. You definitely had a beat. Like, <laughs> that, 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 that was definitely a beat yes. about to come out. Yes. Well, listen here. We're not you, getting you could busy have, for the whole Sunday. You, you, I can you, tell you that. You were just busy doing stuff. Yeah. Not, not, yeah, not I was, was going to say busy, like relaxing. Not yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Today, true. <laughs> not, not busy. Because you said getting and it. Not with you. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all are weird. Yeah, I that's heard, why I was like, pause. I heard get busy. And um, get so it. Reggie yeah. and Corey are some tops, man. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't straight, do nothing like I did that. Hey man, who with the Popeyes? Hold on, hold on. We're not there yet. Oh, so I, I did that. I didn't do nothing Sunday. I went to Buffalo Wild Wings today. Rappers, service, the Reggie. service was horrible. Come on, Reggie, wrap this. The service was horrible. B Dub sucks. I won some money though. They paid me three hundred dollars for showing up. B Dub is good. They paid me three hundred dollars for showing up. So I was like, <laughs> "You always win money, though." He, he no, always, I don't. He always win. I do bro. not stop it. Oh, fuck it. Okay, Corey, what do you want to talk about now? Who with the Popeyes? Ronaldo. I did. You didn't get the hottie sauce. Oh, here you go. You didn't go. This fucking you thought. Didn't, you didn't put your hands on your knees and shake your ass and get that shit. This for fucking your, thought your right here. You can't never first please any. First of all, I, wanna, <laughs> I want y'all to know that Corey has shit. licked this plate that's, clean, but he's how, hollering that's about how you have some to order, sauce. That's how you have to order the hottie sauce. If if I was getting spicy chicken sandwiches, Ooh. but clearly in the group chat, I was nominated to get regular. Well, I didn't nominate. I mean, I I volunteered. Yeah, you, dr- oh, that I was getting that I was getting that I was getting regular. Chicken sandwiches. I was not getting the spicy kind. Mm. So you would have got the hottie sauce then? All it is is buffalo sauce. I know. But make sure when you order it. It's definitely hottie sauce. <laughs> you I went and got your hands it. on your knees and check your ass on your thigh shit. I you said, go in there and you got to do that. So when you order that <laughs> shit, they know what you want. Nah, son. You know I'm here. Nah, son. Hands on my knees, shake your ass. You can do that. Shit. You can do that. Knock I yourself won't. out. I won't. Knock yourself out. I want you to do it. Clearly. Yeah. 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 Fuck all oh, you. Yeah. So how do we put about the chicken sandwiches, fellas? Yes, let's go. I I know my favorite. Okay, go ahead. Go, churches. Go churches is my favorite. Why is churches your favorite? Uh, that spicy from churches. I oh. tasted every bit of seasoning. Okay. Excuse me on that mug. It tells me black folks is in the. It, it tells me black folks is in the test kitchen at the church's headquarters. Mm. That's okay. what it tells me. Okay. Mm. Reggie. Yeah. Chick fil A with. Pepper Jack cheese, though. Okay. okay. Out of the ones you tasted today. 
Out of the ones I tasted today, yes, um, that's what that's what we're testing, Reggie. Not what you had before. Yeah, Reggie's got to always be difficult. Mm, I think I like the KFC one. Your fucking taste buds. Go ahead. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the church's crispy. I mean, church's crispy. The church's spicy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna agree. Yeah. Three, Ch- one. Churches, it is. Churches. Good job, hey. churches. Hey. Okay. At least Corey won something this week. <laughs> <laughs> we are not on sports yet. At least Corey won something this Go week. Go Ravens. Steal. Just All right, man. So, uh, you want to do your sports breakdown news news real quick? Uh, well, shit. We, you brought it up. I guess we can get into sports. So All right. Like a, we can get right into it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have Coming your attention? Coming to the stage. I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to oh. stop what you're doing I love this fucking and movie. listen. Ackerman? Always. <laughs> always. Ackerman's always good. It's always a good it's always show. Good. It's always a good movie. Yeah. yeah. I remember I ditched work. Well, I shouldn't even say dish work. My owner took me to go see it. There you go. Mm-hmm. Me and Woods went to go see it. Ooh. When I'm finna get a suit tomorrow. No, I'm not. What are you talking about? <laughs> Definitely. You know, the right no one listens. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please don't sue me. Uh, y'all know what time it is. We didn't got no money like it's that. NFL. Sorry. Season. So, what are we in weeks? Seven. First seven, of all, seven. Week seven? For, uh, first of all, it's everything season. It's not just football. Well, well, I'm just saying. Back. We're just going to talk about World Series. We're going to talk about the World Series in a second. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I think the World Series stuff for the last, but, you know, we'll do football first. So, football right now, we got... Give me a shot um, glass. Give me a shot glass. I'm not drinking that shit. Taste it. <laughs> Don't no, you were you gotta, his taste. You know what you gotta do? You, we gotta start learning how to be focused. Nah, and bro. Be like, no. He's the one got me off. <laughs> you at home. You nah, can do it. Bro. You at home. You I don't do wanna be sick in bed. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a man. <laughs> Care if, I, if I'm at home. I, I give you half a shit. shot. This is not a half a shot. Oh, uh, three quarters. If you like a little bit of Jameson, try this Black Barrel. It's very good in taste. Right. Black Bear is actually shot, really good. Shot, me get this oh my on. god! Let's go. Man. Shots up. Not even gonna lie, I really do like this Black Barrel. Black Barrel's good, but Corey yeah. got me drinking this bullshit hey, over I'm here. Get us another bottle for our birthdays. Hey, happy birthday to us! Well, I mean, y'all birthdays in the same month. Yeah, but I'm gonna get you one that I like. Let's wait I a minute. Like. I don't get one. No, not a Jameson. A motherfucker. Motherf- Look, shot, here. See, man. Y'all shot, tell me all man. Shot, man. I don't like this. I don't like this. That I got a new friend? You got a best friend? I got a new friend. Newsflash. Me Corey. and Broderick have been hanging out a long time. Corey. We have. We actually have. How dare you? She's a nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> you need to leave. <laughs> Corey. Corey. <laughs> I told you that tequila was disgusting. Mm. I told you. I love it. No, son. it's not better than Don Julio. Nah, son. <laughs> well, I already I told mean, you. It's got. It's got. I'll, gi- I'll give you this. I think. I think this is why you like it. Cause, Cause it's sweet. It's sweet as fuck. Yeah, that's why you like it. Mm-mm. Like it's got. Like it's very, very sweet. It doesn't have a bitter aftertaste. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it's got a I'm taste, and you're, like, and you're like, yo, like did they. I'm on. Did they soak it in sugar? Like. Mm. Back to these sports, dog. Back yeah. to the sports. So y'all don't ran out my music doing all yeah. your extra shit. Sorry. But uh, the game we got going on right now, we got Saints and the Seahawks. The game is tied up. Oh, is it now? 10 to 10. Yes, okay. sir. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Geno Smith is trash. 10 to 10, third quarter. And Jameis is poo too, man. Yeah, I thought I was, you know, we dealt with them for a while. We dealt with them for a while. And, and so I was wondering if we were going to get primetime Jameis or. I mean, I'm, I'm. Cause it's I'm always rooting for us, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he's at the Saints, so he's yeah, in another division. Root, yeah, we got to root. Again. You know what I'm saying? And he's on the Saints. Yeah. Uh, double fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I want him to do good. I want him to do well. But I, don't I want really, him to do yeah, you know what I'm like saying? really good. You know what I'm saying I want him to do well, but like at the end of the day, fuck yeah, you. 
yeah, yeah. So, keep it pushing. No, uh, Thursday night. This is the game that fucked me up in our pickums thing, by the way. It fucked us all up. Broncos, Browns. I picked the Broncos. Yeah. Why would you pick the Broncos I did too, over the cause, Browns? Because Teddy Bridgewater was be, and also be because better because Baker, Baker, Baker was out. Baker was hurt. Was out. Yeah. yeah, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. Listen here. Baker doesn't do much in that that office anyway. Oh, Dill ain't been doing shit. Okay, and, and it's still Land- been winning. And Landry, and like, he, he just came back. Landry just came back. And that, that he game. wasn't. He wasn't supposed to play that game. And both of their running backs was out. Right? And, and and guess what? Broncos still suck. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. All right, go ahead. Bron- uh, we gotta give every score. I'm I'm trying to I mean, do them. I try to do them. Can we quick. just do? Can we just do Thursday night? And then who's the worst loss of fucking Sunday? I'll give you the best win. The worst loss is not us. No, wait. Time out. Best win. I'll give you the best win. I want to hear it too. I, I the Card- Cardinals over the Texans. No, nah. 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 it's gonna be it's gonna be Mister Mister Six Hundred. It was the Buccaneers what? over the Bears. What? Actually, I don't know. Thirty-eight if that, to three. Uh, no, I don't. No. I don't know if that was the best win. Are we talking? Do you? It really wasn't the best win. I was being sarcastic. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. the best win. I was being it, sarcastic. Like the most points though went to uh, the Patriots. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, oh, and also, I there. actually, I would say the best win would be the Titans beating the Chiefs. No, yes, I would like, say would the like, best like, win would be the fucking Bengals beating the fucking shit out of the Ravens. Oh yeah, that one too. That's that the best win. They own not only turn they, this fucking podcast. Off. <laughs> that one too. Turn, turn this shit off. Turn this. That might be the that's best, best win. Yeah. Not only did they pie. smack fucking Lamar, they go, they are in the lead for the AFC. They're North. number one <laughs> in the AFC. Who would have thought in week seven <laughs> that the fucking Bengals of Ohio? We'll be beating the fucking Ravens of Baltimore, my guy. You got to You showed up. Thought. You knew it was gonna he's happen. Got a, he's got Who would have thought in week seven? <laughs> you knew. You knew it was gonna hey, man, happen. You, you knew the smoke was coming, dog. <laughs> did you, you see, put, did you put that on your on your um, weeks for them to lose? Did yeah. you have that on your weeks? No, for we them? all we all definitely uh, picked. I think, pick, we I all think, definitely picked the Ravens. Yeah, I picked the Ravens. So listen, and let, it, let me let me say something real quick. You you finna defend them right now? Don't do it. The Bengals are a good football team. Stop it. The Bengals are stop. It. The Bengals are not the Bengals of old. Okay. Okay. That, no, no, no. no. That, that's no. They no. are not the Bengals. That, of that, old. That's, that's what. That's what basically what Skip and Shannon were talking about today. They they were like, hey, it was this a statement <laughs> win for the Bengals. First of all, you started this was, off with Skip hey, and Shannon. It was. <laughs> so it made me laugh. I, I, I like their takes. I, I no, like listen. Skip and Shannon, but so they listen, are fucking wild. The, the combo of uh, Burrow and Chase. That boy Chase is ridiculous. On, oh my god! Corey, Corey, no, 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 no. Corey, you're not, you're like, not selling I'm, me I'm, on this. I'm one. putting the respect on the Bengals' name for beating us the way they did. Oh, don't. They, they they had don't. Humphrey but that's the only reason. Field. That's the only reason that you're respecting. No, them because you they did. were they were they were Corey. they what are they five and one? They're, they're you four did and two right now. You did not expect that. They're five and two. They're five and two. You did not, and they lead the AFC North going into the game. Okay, so so if they finish the season with only five wins. Are they still as good as you're talking about them right now? No, I, but I don't think they'll end up. They're not going to end up with five wins, bro. I'm gonna tell you right okay, now. If they, listen if here. They finish 500. Well, they're gonna win that they, they can't finish 500. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't think they're gonna win the division. Not division. They're gonna win their what is it? They're, conference? No, What's lower? No, no, the division. No, the division. No, we're gonna win the division still. Let's yeah, I, I, I still. Not now that you lost the game to them. No, I still think Baltimore pulls it out. I still think Baltimore's a better team. We played them twice. But 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 then you'll be. But the Bengals are here. That that's that's what that's what that win was saying. Like, hey, we are here. I want like. Not nah, only bro. is it the Ravens Go league, ahead. and not only is it the Browns division now, no. we're here too. Like no. the only sorry team in the whole division now is fucking Pittsburgh. It's Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's a sorry team in that division, which I, is crazy. I will bet you a chicken sandwich with a biscuit that the Ravens don't win that division. I'll take that bet. Let's go. Who wants it? I'll Come take on. that bet. Bet good. I'll take that bet. Okay. Yep. They're not gonna win that division. They're gonna okay. end up in the wild card. No, we gonna they win ain't gonna win that division. Right, they win that division. All right. Can I read? Can I? So read, I get. I so the, hold on. I just want to clarify right quick. As long as anybody else but the Ravens win this division, I get. A chicken if the sandwich. Ravens do not win the division, you will get chicken sandwich. Both of us. Okay. So this is the Bengals schedule: Jets, Cleveland, Vegas, Pittsburgh, Chargers, San Fran, Denver. Baltimore, KC, Cleveland. I, I hear like three, four games they losing right now. Yes, I hear more than that. I don't hear more than that. You said Zuda. Can, can they beat Jets? the Jets? They'll beat the that's Jets. a win. Cleveland. That's gonna Loss. be tough. Well, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Okay, it's gonna be tough. Okay. It's a divisional okay. game. Okay, it's gonna be tough. Vegas. Vegas is tough. Loss. 
Uh, Pittsburgh. That's gonna be tough. They're gonna beat. They're gonna beat Pittsburgh. Chargers. Tough game. Loss. I don't know. San Fran. Loss. Denver. No, they they, okay. they they beat San Fran. Baltimore. They beat San Fran and they beat Denver. And they're gonna beat Denver. And they KC. beat San Fran and they beat Denver. Toss up. Bro, KC? Cleveland. Toss Did you up. say KC? Yes. Yes. KC toss is up. not a toss up, bro. They're not is. going to with the playoffs. The, with the way KC is playing right now, zero. But they, they are still. But they are still them. Kansas City. No. You still have to put some respect on their name. No, you I, don't. I mean, I get it. No, I you get don't. It. I, I see. You. So let's see. Let's take a look who they've beaten right now. The Bengals. Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Trash. Chicago. Trash. Pittsburgh. Trash. Jacks. Trash. They lost to Green Bay twenty five to twenty two in overtime. Okay. Okay. But I'm exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear okay. you. I hear you. Hey. I hear you. Detroit and ba- it us Baltimore. Mm-mm. Hey, you're Listen not. Gonna, you're not gonna sell me. I'm just saying. The the Bengals. Is it the resume? The resume doesn't sound that sexy because of who they're playing and who they played so far. But you can't judge them for that that schedule. The Bengals are sliding in your, into your DMs trying to say your dream right now. Hey kid, I got your um, letter from the hotel from the apartment place. I'll too talk late about it tonight, okay? But right. love you too. But why we're why let me finish these scores up real quick. So Washington uh, lost to the Packers. I love 10, it. Twenty four. I love that. Chiefs Titans three to twenty seven. Falcons thirty to twenty eight. Surprising that they actually won that game. The Falcons won. Yeah, the Falcons mm-hmm. won that game. Jets thirteen. Patriots fifty four. 54. They put up 54 points. 54. That's like college. Mac Jones? Bro, bro. Mac Jones had two touchdowns. Everybody, everything else was rushing. And probably defense. Defense. Mm-hmm. Panthers 3, Giants 25, which was a complete shocker to me. You don't know what happened to the fucking Panthers. Bengals Sam 41. Trash. Ravens 17. We already talked about that. Eagles 22. Raiders 33. Lions 19. Hey, time out. Before you go any further, the Eagles fans travel heavy. Hey, bro. bro they was deep bro, in Allegiant. Bro, in Allegiant. I, I was at the airport Saturday. Mm-hmm. And when, when I landed to you know, come back to the house, bro, they were deep, yeah. bro. Like, literally, like, the whole plane that I was on had green. And I was coming from San Diego. Well, well, crazy. Fresh well, had tickets to well, the game. Well, here's the thing that, I, that I've always said, too, is that once we get a team here, people are going to travel to come and see their just teams. To, just just like, to go to yeah, Vegas, yeah, too. Exactly. They, it's already planned out. As soon as the schedule comes out, like, oh, shit, it's Vegas? My team is going to – we're going to Vegas. But they were deep. Like, yeah, like, like that's, that's that. So so I see that. Like, you're definitely going to see that a lot. Like, you, you yeah. see it with the, the Knights. Yeah. You go to a Knights game, the motherfucking fans are everywhere. Like, we, I think we saw um, – was that – one of the fucking Canadian teams, and that shit was wild to me. It was Edmonton or some shit like that. That shit was wild yeah, to me. I'm like, deep. I'm like, yo, like, where the fuck is all these Canadians coming from? <laughs> like, they really? They visited. Um, yeah, Eagles 22, Raiders 33, Lions 19, Rams 28, Texans five, Cardinals 31. Cardinals are still undefeated, seven and zero right now. Mm. Yo, that Thursday game is gonna be a tough I game. Still have, is it sad I have not bought into the Cardinals yet? I have You're not crazy. You're, You're crazy for not, for not buying this one, bro. They're they're off. They're a, the most balanced team they're, in the NFL. They're a legit team. I'll give you that. Lamar, uh, not Lamar, Kyler Murray had three touchdowns, bro. He was twenty for twenty eight. He bro. fumbled one time too in that game, didn't he? I'm just like he's bro. They're the most balanced team in the NFL. And Maybe. then yes. Colts and Forty ers Colts beat uh, the Niners thirty to eighteen. That game was, was kinda, fucking wild. Kind of weird. Uh, teams that were on buys last week: Bills, Ooh. Cowboys, Ooh. Vikings, Steelers, Chargers. Hey, Jags. I don't like all this buy shit. It fucked my whole fantasy up. This nah, because your nah. team was on buy. Oh, yeah, I had like. On buy. I, I, I had like five players on my so, yeah. so, so, so what you do is when you draft and you have to look into that shit. Yeah, but life, life like happens, five. Ray, yeah. and you fucking don't forget about that shit. I, I'm with yeah. you, Corey. Trust me, I got three and players when, from and, Tampa on my and, team and right we, now. And when you don't pay buy, attention, I'm you taking draft, an L that week. When you don't pay attention, you draft four fucking quarterbacks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> who you? Who? What? How you auto draft four? You quarterbacks? definitely were on auto draft. You got four quarterbacks. I auto drafted two quarterbacks and then I didn't pay attention and drafted two more quarterbacks. Okay. Back. Anyway, just just give up. Just I I like this. You weekend can't do football. fantasy. No I'm more. four and two right now. Though I like this week in football because um, you were on a bye and everybody that was in the NFC lost. NFC East. Okay. Mm, true that. They lost. Right. No, so. The Redskins and the fucking Eagles. Giants won though. Who they play? The the, car, the, the, the Panthers. Panthers. Yeah, Panthers. Oh yeah, but that don't mean nothing to me. We already beat them. All right, real quick, since we are on sports. 
Come on. Oh, we didn't finish um uh World Series. My bad. World yeah. Series. What is that? It's set now, Braves. right? Braves, Braves and, and, and the Strolls. Braves and Astros. Who you got? First of all, let me tell you. I went to Buffalo Wild Wings today and me and this white guy decided he he wanted to fucking talk about my hat today. Which Braves. I got on my Braves, Braves hat. On the Braves hat. Which I only wear it because it is an A and my last name starts with an A. Does it? The guy mm. at the Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, you're a Braves fan now. You're a Braves fan now. That's how that works, buddy. That's how what do you say? What do you say? He was like, go Braves. And I was like, yeah, no, nah, I don't watch baseball. And he's like, you got on the hat. And I was like, I right, stop talking to me. You got on the hat. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like sir? stop talking to me. Get <laughs> the goddamn head off, boy. <laughs> yeah, a, yeah see? Did he call you a boy? Nah, nah. He didn't lose his mind. Why did you escalate that? Exactly. Like he didn't lose his mind in Buffalo right. Wild Wings. This is still, you, this is still trying to get people Buffalo Wild Wings in the north. So yeah, yeah, he ain't, he ain't <laughs> like like he, no he, ain't, he, ain't, he ain't stupid. He, he didn't put the er yeah. at the end of the, oh, <laughs> the end of the stuff. R-E-R. <laughs> but no, like so we got into it a little bit, and I was just like, bro, stop talking to me. And every time Project goes out, every time, so he'd be it, like, no, look at my tag. <laughs> it was just, it was just, I was you know, just like, uh, this is how Project felt. That's why he wears week. shorts. It's actually funny though, because that's why I stopped. Um, Wearing baseball hats? No, that's why I got the Paper Planes hats, and then I just got the Bucks hats. Because at least somebody asked me about the Bucks, okay, I'm a Bucks fan. And then I have my Paper Planes hat, and like, which is funny, too, because people be like, well, what's that? It's a Paper Plane. Well, why you got a hat with a Paper Plane on it? <laughs> why people are dumb, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not all of y'all. I mean, not all. <laughs> but man. some of us woke a little bit. Some of us woke a little oh, bit. Not, 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 not all. But you trying to get us canceled, y'all? I'm just saying, like, like what the fuck? Like, read a book. Like, let look, me alone. Like, look at the look at the internet for like five minutes, please, please. Nope, you're asking okay. a lot from people. Okay, okay. You're asking so, a lot so from who people. Y'all got the, you got who you got the World Series? I mean, if I if if I uh, to be honest with you, the Strohs will probably win it. Fucking cheaters! They will probably win it. Yeah, you can go ahead and hold your tongue and bite your lip until you blew in the face. No, but because I have a little bit in me just wants Atlanta just to win it. Right, watch, 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 Corey. Be like, I'm a little bit of a Houston Astros fan. <laughs> <Because he's laughs> fan. <laughs> But, but I'm a strokes. really St. Louis Colonel fan. Yeah. That's absolutely what he's about to say. Yes. <laughs> Corey, you don't even got to say nothing no more because that's exactly what you was so going to say. I want the Braves to win. Yeah. He's just lying. so, just so nothing else gives no, me. No, no. But, I want the Braves to win for baseball. Yeah, it'll be good for baseball. It'll be, if it's very, it'll be very good for baseball if the Braves win. It would. Okay. I would. You know, it would. The Braves have I not. Agree with that. The way, Atlanta, the Braves needs, not, Atlanta needs a win. The Braves have not been since 1999. Yep. They haven't won since 1995. Yep. So it is a very good thing for baseball, for baseball if and for the city of Atlanta. I think Atlanta sports yeah. and for the city of Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Atlanta yeah. You know sports what I'm saying? in general. Right. Yeah. Atlanta um, sports would definitely yes, need that. I was partially a Houston Astros fan oh, growing it. up. Growing up, stop my, it. My mom's job had had. Uh, <laughs> stop <laughs> it. And here we go. I would hear this word. Huh? Oh, no. just, my mom, my mom's job had box seats. <laughs> they had club seats. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? I used to be at the Astros game all the time. Privilege. I mean, like now that I say it, I'd be like, bro. Like people listening probably be like, this motherfuckers is some spoiled ass fucking four. Privilege. Guys. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, we, hey man, we do all right. Yeah, we do all right. We do all right. We're, we're pretty good. But no, I really we are want, actually kind of spoiled. Though. I want to see. <laughs> like nah, when you sit back it. and think about yeah. it, you be like. These our kids are spoiled. Our kids are fucking spoiled too. Yeah. Okay, let's be real. We're gonna have a conversation about this shit one day. Our kids, I ain't got no kids. I don't have a kid. Hmm. Hmm. Um not even in no. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. But no, um the Braves, I want the Braves to win for baseball. Yes. For that, baseball. I would agree. I would agree. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going uh, Braves. Braves also, yeah. Yeah, I, I would like. I, I don't have a dog in the fight. I'm not a fan of yes. either one of the teams. Me neither. Um, so I could I couldn't even tell you who's the pitchers are or who the best players are. So. I, I don't know, know at least a pitcher. No, sure not so. not on either one of those teams. The only I really person don't. I know in all of baseball is, is right Bum now is Bumgarner still playing. Is Mookie Betts? Next, next subject. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> Baseball's over. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't um, know. Basketball. Basketball. Your Lakers. Your, your Lakers took some some L's this week, bro. I told y'all last yeah, week. I told yeah, y'all last week that they was gonna start slow. I told y'all that yep. that they was gonna start slow. Did y'all see, see Melo with 28 last night? Thank God. Hey man, look. Hey, now, he's first doing, of all, he's no, doing no, no, what no. he's supposed to I, do though. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I I think I think the the underrated three. The three should have been Melo, LeBron, and fucking um, he's AD. Talk, he's talking about the big three. The big three should have been Melo, LeBron, and 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 what? You Not Westbrook. No. Hey man, Broderick. Me and Broderick was going back and forth in that motherfucking text. <laughs> like, I don't know if y'all was watching the game, but Westbrook, clearly me and Bro- me and Westbrook, Broderick watching. Westbrook. What it is is you're going to get hot and cold, Westbrook. That so nigga was ice cold. Ice you got cold. to pray. <laughs> you got to pray. You got to pray. You got to pray for that what you finna get. It was cold. But but yeah, that's what you're gonna get from from Russ. I thought a different Russ was going to show up. I will admit that okay. because you. I told you was expecting 30, 40 point Russ every. No 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 no. I was I was I was happy with twenty points, twenty like fucking. Assist Russ. I mean, he can't play more like assist. that though. He can't play more like assist Russ. I told y'all. More I, I told y'all Russ. This would be Russ's highest assist career so, of his so, life. So fifteen points, twenty assists. Russ. Okay. Ten points, twenty assists. Yes. Rondo. Rondo. Russ. Rondo. Bro. Russ. You Rondo know they got Russ. him playing off the ball. He can't it, do that. But the, and and it and it fucks him up. But it, I think if he put if you put the ball in his hands and just tell him. Do everything but shoot the ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. exactly. You can pass, you can fucking you can slice, you can cut to the hole, do everything else. Because him penetrating would be very hard to stop. True. But True. the kick out game and then the wide open threes and then LeBron slashing right behind him, the shit would be fucking amazing. But you can't stop Russ from being Russ. And it's like Run our test in a little fucking body mm. where he's going to go and do what he wants to do, and you can't tell him shit. Then he run down the lane and miss the layup, <laughs> like, and like, he be like, yo. Yeah, he no, and he and wants shit. to talk to the ref more than he wants to get back on defense. Ain't nobody got time for that. Sure. The biggest thing that I think that came from, from this weekend of us watching the Lakers was AD told Dwight, I ain't for your bullshit. I know, Dwight is a gentle giant and he will whoop motherfucking I, I Anthony Davis ass. I, and you're probably 100% correct. He will drag his But what AD ass. told him is, you want this smoke? I think mm-hmm. it was worse than the, I think it the look was worse than what it was. Cuz cuz of um Dwight slipping. Yeah, they grabbed each other but Dwight slipping. Now it made it look like AD kind of pushed up on well, him. Kind of bumped hey, him a, no, little, no, a little bit more. No, I, 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 I and I'll I didn't take really, into consideration. I didn't read into did. that at all. But, yeah. but what it was, what it, what it reminded me of was when Draymond called Kevin Durant a bitch. Mm. Oh right, right. And he was just like, "Bro, you, you new to this? This so, is our team. Yeah. So you step. This in is line. what you. This is what you finna be doing, bro. Mm. Slow down a little bit. Yeah. I, I guarantee you've been here before, but then they shipped your ass. Yeah. Mm. They ain't shipping me nowhere. Right. Let's get this understood, bro. Okay. You either gonna get in line or are you gonna be the next motherfucker, the next Trevor Reza that we ship the fuck up out of here? That we get that we get up out of here. Like right. we'll That's ship funny. your ass in a heartbeat. So it's still early in the NBA season. We'll take that. It's only been like three. Yeah, four yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just yeah. gonna win the other yeah. night, so they'll be all right. Yeah, they'll be all right. Um, who I am impressed by really quick before I get into the NBA 75th anniversary players, Lamelo Ball. The kid is balling. Man, like, last year. It ain't. Oh, my no, God. Last year. Yeah. No, like, no, no, this year. This year. This they, year. Hey, so I'm saying last year they he was got balling, the best, They got the best backcourt oh in the motherfucking God. NBA. He's just picking um, up. Yeah, where he left off. Uh, he, I mean, Alex I'm Caruso. No. I mean, Alex Caruso. No, no, no. That's Lonzo. He's talking about Lamelo. Oh, he's talking, about, he's talking about Charlotte. Yeah, you yeah. talking, talking about Lonzo from Chicago. Gonna, yeah. was, which, which, which they are doing well too. I was, yeah. was going to say because Chicago definitely has the best backcourt. You don't Chicago want definitely has none the of that smoke, Zach, bro. Zach and, uh, Zach and um, Lonzo and Demar Derozan. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not even that. No, Alex DeMar. Caruso is the one DeMar. that's fucking starting. Yeah. Over who? Over well, he's playing two guard, I think. No, oh. they running. They running all three of them. All three of them start. But uh, but boy, you don't want no fucking Alex Caruso and motherfucking Lonzo oh, Ball right now. Okay. You don't want none of that but smoke. Did y'all see the seventy fifth NBA 
the seventy five anniversary. The release, NBA. yeah, the team. The release of the teams. Yeah. Do y'all have any objections? What do you mean? The players that are on the I game. can't believe Clay didn't make it. I'm not even gonna lie. Clay oh. was tight. Clay was tight about it too. Yeah, I can't believe Clay I can't believe Clay didn't make it. Who would you put Clay over? Um, I mean, there's a lot of people. Who, who would you over. who would you take out? I mean, obviously, I, did, I, I I didn't get to see like seventy five top players. Yeah, I didn't get to see all those other guys play ball. You can't, you can't take Ray out. No, I'm not. Are take we Ray. talking no, about position talking, wise? Not, yeah, shooting def- guard. I'm not gonna take Ray out. No, definitely not. Gonna you take can't Ray take out. you can't take Melo's a three. You can't uh, take Reggie uh, Miller out. Can't take Kobe out. No, you can't take Steph out. Hold on, Reggie or Kobe played shooting guard, didn't he? Or small forward? Two. He played two. It's not by position, it's not though. By position, oh, though. I'm gonna tell you a name in here that I can argue with hmm. over Clay. Come hmm. on, Kawhi Leonard. I'm taking Kawhi Leonard out over. Uh, yeah, I, I, so over I'm Clay. Saying, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying. I can see people make the argument over Clay and Kawhi. I Let me see, see this argument. Let me see. I'm not even going to lie though. Kawhi did like lock up LeBron a couple times. Yes, he's a great. No, like, like, and, I, and I'm taking nothing away from Kawhi. He's a great player. But as like, but I can see somebody making that argument. But as both ways, I don't think Kawhi is better both ways than Clay. Like oh. defensive wise, possibly defensive, yes. But offensively, nah. no, yeah, no, 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 not even close. No, it's not, yeah. it's not even no. close on the yeah. offensive no. end. I'll bro, Clay, Clay scored what? How many points in the second quarter? Like thirty some points. Like, 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 bro, bro, no, no, that, bro, that one bro, like bro. game that they had, and he bro. only dribbled the ball like three, four times. That, that's, yeah. the, that's the one I was talking about. That's the one that that always sticks in my head. Like, bro, he dribbled the ball like three, four times, and scored like fucking sixty points. Like, nah, how the bro. Fuck? Yeah, bro. Yeah. I, so I, I would definitely put Clay over, over Kawhi. Oh, Kawhi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, in that, him in that way too sexy I'm a, video. I'm adding that drop. By the way. Kawhi Leonard drop. Kawhi Leonard laugh. I'm adding that. Thanks, Roger. All right, All right. Reggie. Since you have the one of the things why Reggie's looking at the list. One of the things going back to the Lakers uh, after that win that they had against Memphis. One of the reporters asked him. Dwight. No, asked LeBron. So he's playing against the guy Zaire Williamson or something like that. <laughs> okay. Zaire played on his son's high school basketball team and so the reporter asked him was it weird playing against somebody that played on your son's hey, high school yeah. basketball team so what happened was like this obviously he's a rookie this year but so he played as a senior on his on with Bronny Sierra Canyon he went one year in Stanford and this is his first year in the NBA wow. so they asked the LeBron like was that weird for you to play against like your son's teammate. The, one of your son's yeah. teammates. Yeah. And LeBron was like, yeah, man, that shit was weird. He's like, I kept on just looking back, like looking at him and just shaking my head. You've been like, doing this shit for a long yeah. time, man. <laughs> like that shit's crazy <laughs> to even think about that shit. Like if you think about it, like like, you, like really, like, heart? like really is like, wow, yeah. like, that's fucking crazy. Reggie? Who can go? Yeah. Uh, from this list, Paul Pierce. Oh yeah, come oh. on, man. Pierce has got Pierce can definitely get cut. Yeah, from any list. Yeah, any. Paul I don't Pierce care what the do, list do, is. Do, but do you I cut him? But do you cut Paul Pierce is. because of him as his personality or because of his basketball player? Period. Because, yeah, because, because of his Clay basketball. is better than Paul Pierce. Paul is a hundred hands down. Yo, Paul Pierce gets shit on so <laughs> much. <laughs> that Paul Pierce is trash, bro. Listen, hands bro. Down. Listen, hands Paul down. Pierce nickname was the truth for a reason. Exactly. You don't get the nickname of the truth. I don't give a damn. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. He kind of like. He kind of like resurrected Boston. Yes. Like, no. He yes. did, bro. That, two, no, that, that no, 2002. I don't, I don't care. It I wasn't care. because of him. It was not. It was, not. It was, it was not. Walker. No. Bro, Paul Pierce, no. Paul Pierce was the fucking oh, truth, bro. No. On, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, no. No. But, but, that, but, but Paul Pierce can't go. Yeah. <laughs> he can't go. <laughs> they didn't get, they didn't get. Lives. All I'm saying is. You have to give Paul his respect. They didn't get good until Ray and Kevin Garnett got no, there. No, no, they were they yes. were contending no, for yeah. in the no, playoffs, no, dog. No. That's why they went and got them because Paul needed help. Bro. He needed help. Yeah, but Paul, Paul was on that shit down for himself for a fat, minute. Fat him, and Antoine Walker was gonna do it. Him, no. Antoine, yeah, bro. It, it, they were holding that shit down for a minute. Oh bro. my god, that was a good one, Reggie. Though, yeah, Paul Pierce can go. Paul, Paul, Pierce, Paul, Paul Pierce could definitely go to Clay. The, the, the only <laughs> reason, the only reason that Russell Westbrook is on here is because he did that triple he, double. He does those triple doubles like that. If yeah, you yeah. if you take away those triple doubles yeah. from, from absolutely, absolutely. Russell Westbrook, I can live without. He's Westbrook. not. He's not I, a fucking. I can, I can good. live without. I can, I can live live without without good, so I re, I'll be real. I can live without Westbrook on this list. I can live without Dame Dame Little on this list. He's Lillard, on that list. No, Dame he's not. Dame Little is on this list. Lillard can go. Lillard can go. Lillard can go. 
He can go. Mm, uh, I like Dame. I like Dame I, too. I like Dame. But he can go. Exactly. If, if, if Clay, if Clay is gonna be left off there, you he can who, go. You know who West can go off this list? Dominic Wilkins go off this list. Mm. All right. I didn't um, what really see him play. Huh? What, what are you talking about? You don't know. No, what color is he? Black. Pull him out. <laughs> pull his mouth. Um, gonna pull his mic out. Besides unplug the, him. Besides the dunk contest, what has Dominic done for the league? What has he done? I Besides mean, being he's, a great he's dunker. the reason. He's the reason that the ball is played above the rim that it is now. No, he is no. not. That's Doctor J. No. Mm-hmm. And technically, he he didn't. No, he didn't win the slam dunk contest, right? No, he I, lost to Jordan. Right? I think so. Hmm. Besides dunking, what is he known for? Nothing. That's why he had the dunk contest every year. Here it is. Hey. He's he's like before my time. So he's I'm like he's like the early anything, version but, of like a, Vince Carter or Grant Hill. Like, cause he got hurt, so, so he stopped playing. So early. The well, they the could, they compare Grant Hill to like the next Jordan, so I don't I don't you know. know who he but he got you know but, but Dominic got hurt Kemp. early. You know who he is, Sean Kemp. Uh, okay, uh, okay, he's Sean maybe. Kemp. Yeah, I'll give Raymond. Yeah, maybe. Does James Harden belong on the list? Yes. As much as it irritates me to say it, yeah. James Harden is a good basketball player. Okay. He's bas- uh, is what he it, a great basketball what player? It, what it is, yes. he's basketball yes, he is. savvy. Yes. yes. He's he's basketball. Okay. It's it's very, his basketball it, IQ is very high. The one it irritates me to my soul. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, how I, I I don't want to say good he is, but he but he is. He's basketball savvy because he he, uh, he manipulates everything on the court. Like he like he literally will make he takes advantage of, of everything and it irritates me to my mm-hmm. soul He's about how savvy. good he is at it. Like you look yeah. at, at, at Harden and be like, this nigga can't ball. No. And you get out there and you speak, That and, nigga hoops. And he fucking hoops. Yeah. That motherfucker hoops. <laughs> does nigga does hoops. Anthony Davis belong on the list? Yes. No. Eh. No. No. He ain't done shit yet. No. He got a yeah. ring though. No. What's that mean? You got a ring. Fuck out of here. It don't mean nothing. Yeah. Okay. I have a question so, now that you bring that up though because I actually have this internal ch- you know, argument myself. Um, who is Carl the, Malone shouldn't be on the list if he ain't got no ring. Who is the rings don't matter on here? Oh, because Barkley's on here. Who is number one on that list? Because obviously they didn't rank them. Who is if if you had to rank? Give me the top five. No order, the, or just top five. No, uh, no number. I need them in order. Five to one. Ooh, Kareem. <laughs> Kareem's five. No. Kareem's in the list. I, I'm, I need to get my names first. Okay. Because I, I literally was about to hit the stop button. Here we go. Kareem one, Jordan two. Okay. Um, Kobe three. Because I'm biased, I'm going Shaq four, Elijah one five. Okay. For me. I'm good. I just wanted to hear you say Kareem first. That's all. <laughs> That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to hear. That was that was my internal struggle. I was like, Kareem is like literally the best basketball player like ever. I, I would I would just say it just to mess with y'all. <laughs> like, just to mess with y'all. I just wanted to hear you I'd say Kareem. I'd be like, Mister Fucking Logo's number one. <laughs> Jerry West. He's the fucking. Nah, he's bro. number one. Kareem, he's the logo. Kareem is, Kareem uh, is, Kareem is number one. one. Kareem is what? literally the Kareem best. Is one. Yes. Okay. What else we got? Uh, you got his iPad. Sports. Oh no, I don't. Oh yeah, I do. You I actually have my tablet. tablet. Yes, yeah. you do. Uh, yeah, I got his tablet, not his iPad. Uh, tablet, iPad. Yes, I'm sorry, uh, Roderick. How do you feel about basketball? You didn't say nothing that whole time. I just want to listen to everybody's opinion. Um, I mean, basketball. I mean, not to get too deep and too weird, but basketball is art, and art's so subjective. Of course, yeah. yeah. And like everybody has a, their own opinion. You gonna on say you gonna say Kyrie's Roderick, number one? Roderick, Roderick, you been artist. over there fucking smoking weed just, today? The oh, earth shit. is flat. <laughs> <by it. laughs> Project is loaded, right? Earth is yeah, flat, yeah. Hey, and bro. I haven't got vaccinated. You've been, you've been, you've been <laughs> sneaking <laughs> shots of, of, of Corey's no, fucking tequila. Nah, over man. Um, um, like, like again, like basketball is so subjective, bro. Like everybody, I think like people pick the players that they like on like how they think they will play. You know what I'm saying? Like I if agree. I, if I, I agree. was that good, I would do that shit. So they like they trend to different players. You know what I'm saying? I agree because that's that's why even though like all of the you know. What, 
He got the first topic. That's his topic. Oh, whoa. oh, even though like like my favorite NBA player is uh, Dwayne Wade. Okay. Because I'm like, yo, like that's how I feel like yeah. that. That's my that's my game. Like, that's that's, that's how yeah. I would play. Would be like like how I know you're not so, slow player. So do you Just do y'all poor. think Tracy McGrady should have been on this list? Absolutely, no. absolutely. No. I don't think so. No. No. Wow. If Clay's not on the list, wow. Tracy McGrady Tracy cannot McGrady's be not on the list. Okay. Vince, okay. Vince is not even on that list. Vince no. Carter. No, he's yeah. not. He's not on that list. So you gonna put McGrady over over Vince? Absolutely. I'd put no. I'd put I'd put Vince over bro. Chris Vince over McGrady. Bro, that makes you. But that makes you dunking. Say, that, but that he, makes. But you, Vince is pretty much Dominique. Does Wilkins. Vince go before? Does Vince, Vince go Vince before? Is Clay? Dominique Dominique Wilkins. Wilkins. Vince huh? is Dominique Wilkins. Does Vince go before Clay? Hell no. Listen, Vince ain't nothing but Dominique Wilkins though. Facts. Carmelo, Facts. Carmelo Facts. Anthony Facts. ain't on that list. Like T Mac, T Mac was a whole different beast, bro. T Mac was a, a scorer, bro. And don't get me wrong, Vince would put up numbers, but T Mac was a scorer. He was the primary ball handler in Orlando. Vince is also an Olympian. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, he said whatever. <laughs> hey, both of them boys from Florida though, so it's it's all good. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. So if you got rid of a state, wow. And, it, and it, what would it be? And New York, it's definitely Florida. New York. <laughs> yeah. It'd be New York. <laughs> okay. hmm? Anyway, go ahead with your question, man. I don't even know how this got on the topics of questions. Because you were high that day. No, I wasn't. But I was just like, yo, what if an alarm just went off and all we heard was COVID vaccine activate (laughs) and everyone who didn't have it immediately died? Okay. You know, and I was just just sitting here wondering, like, you know, what if the fucking government just planted some shit into us? He actually put this in there. I didn't have no idea he was going to actually put this in there. But like, okay, like, what if the, the, the Thanos snap happened and then fucking like... Would we feel? Would you feel any type of way? Like, would you lose some loved ones? Would you, Ooh, you know, what I'm saying? Mm, would, 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 mm. would some people close to you be gone? Yes, like, would, would you even have a job? Like, what, what the fuck? I would, I would definitely. Be I'm pretty sure them. none of us would be working for a few days. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I, I, get I, think, I think working would be the last thing least, on our mind. We got at least two weeks off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, a minimum. At a minimum, we got at least two weeks off. I think working. Yeah, would be, like, yeah, like, yeah, like do you, do you, Reggie? Would y'all would you lose a loved one if that shit happened? Um, so? I didn't mind that I can think of. So everybody immediately close to you is like secured and well. well. Hold, on, hold on, what age bracket are we going from? Eighteen and above. I I guess so. People who people who can make the decision on their own to go get it. Yeah. Uh, I think we. I think I would be okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, let me think. Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah I think okay. I would be up there. I think okay. I'd be all right. Yeah. What I'm you, definitely losing some people I love. Yeah. Yeah. I'm losing people I love. Wow, and yeah. it's just because of choice for them not choice. to do it. Uh-huh. I got a I got a small circle, so yeah. everybody I know. Yeah, Corey has a big ass heart, so he loves everybody. So who? Yeah, no, exactly. these are, these are definitely definitely family members. Yes, family okay. members. immediate, immediate. Okay, yes. okay. Yeah, what about you? Family. Same, I'm saying you well, you losing people? Oh sure, sure. Yeah, so, really? I mean, I, 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 mean, I, I, I mean, I mean, none of the boys are vaccinated. Yes. Oh, we're talking about the older ones, huh? Well, you said. You said. Yeah. 18 and above? Yeah. Yes. You got to work on that. What kind of... You're a bad parent. Whoa. <laughs> no, calm no, down. No, no. <laughs> like, yes, oh, okay. And like, do you think the government could might be possibly like do something like that? Do you think that... Like, like... That like would what? be some wild ass shit. I mean... You, we've all seen like some pretty. First of all, if the government went to kill everybody, they put that shit in Hennessy and fucking Newports and all these fucking Y'all chicken sandwiches like, that we. Just <laughs> ate. I would be alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. you wouldn't. But um, nah. 2013, me wouldn't be alive. No, yeah. last year you wouldn't be alive. Two fucking, years you were ago. drinking Hennessy like it was fucking going out. There's I was a sober picture last of you. Year. There's yeah, a picture of you like this. That was two years ago. Was two There's years a picture ago. of you like this with two Hennessy bottles in Corey's. No, that, that was one kitchen. Hennessy bottle in a plastic cup. No, it was two years ago. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking but, um, a party. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know why that just, just was some all random. Shit yeah, it was just some random. About. shit I don't know, but like I've seen movies where like people just drop dead because so, of some. So this is I watched the happening the other this day. This brings See? up a yeah. lot of things, right? Because as black people, we already have a mistrust of the government huh. automatically as black people because of. Tuskegee experiments. I've had too much. I feel. I feel like. I feel like that is a cop out. I feel like that's a cop out. Come on, come on. I mean, just just me personally. I'm just me personally. Like, I feel like that's a cop out. Like people use that as an example to justify 
everything from you know from now on. Like, but oh, there, because but there's this, definitely this, more examples. This happened, so so that's got to be what's going on now. And I don't want to be a but, part of that. But there's definitely more exa- That's just one of the huge examples. But that's just. I get Definitely it. Definitely more examples. I do. I I get it, and I'm not I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying that that I feel like it's a cop out. Like, but like, why? But why though? When when as somebody says, when a person shows you their hand, what? Believe them. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, gov- the government think that means true colors when they show you your true colors. Same thing. Same, same thing. Way. We we knew where we, yes. where we was going. But, but it's the same thing. Just because the person in office changes doesn't mean the structure the structure changes. So mm-hmm. no. So nobody. Gets a chance to evolve and grow and correct mistakes. Like just because you made a mistake before, you can't rectify that in the future. You definitely can, <clears throat> but there is still a mistrust because of the abuse that has been handed down by the government. I, I, to, I toward African Americans and people of of color. I so get there's, it. there's still a huge mistrust. Maybe I'm too maybe this. I'm too optimistic. I'm not very, you know, it's anti anti government or anything that. like that. But I, I I love how people pick and choose what they want to believe. That's all it is. That, that, so, that's, so, that's, that's so here goes too. here goes the here goes I guess my piece in it is everybody wants to be so skeptic about everything, mm-hmm. but then you want to put all your trust in in this one thing of okay. oh. I got I got to be against what the government is doing. Mm. But you want to be but you want to believe in 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 Joe Small over here that that has came up with a cure for cancer because he's rubbing two plants together. Right. Okay. Like you cannot have it both ways. Yeah. Let me say something, man. My daddy is one of the most anti white man government things ever mm-hmm. was. Mm-hmm. As soon as he was as was able to get that damn shot, he went over there and got it. My dad was from and, the VA. And, right, and, right to the VA and right to and, the VA and, and what shit. it is and what it is is and and a lot of people that's like I'm not getting it like it's it's amazing to me but these are the same people that was like let me go get this anthrax shot mm. that that nobody to this day can still sh- tell me what was in it first off the anthrax shot fucked us up I had what five or six shots of the anthrax shot first and you, you got, got it scar, though you got, you got a scar no, but you got it pop. though didn't you that was smallpox but you I, got it but see I had no choice military yeah, but, but see but see. You, you you're you're mistaken with no choice is I was government property. So when you're government property, which you have no choice. And there was a lot of people that wasn't government property that still got it. Too. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, like it it's one of those things where I think I think where they messed up was they were like that you have to get it. I will give you that. Like when you take the when you take the option away from people and you'd be like, you really should go get it or you're forcing or you're mandating people to do it. That's when you're going to get a lot of buck out of the system. Yeah. If you, here goes the one way that a lot of African American black people would have gotten this shot is if they would have gave it to white people first. Or, that's the one. That's the one way that you beat. Or that's the one way that you beat black people is they, you give it to white people, rich white people first, and then watch how how many people are fighting in line to get this shot. Or they make a commercial about it and put it in a hip hop song. Mm. That, that always makes let Jay Z come out with a fucking that, that, with a, all, that with a always fucking, makes me no that's, that's all I'm saying that's you know the fucking they like they love doing that shit put a shit in hip hop songs and be like yeah. that Go Casamigos vote. if I hear this somebody else vote. say something else about fucking Casamigos Dido Diddy rock his rock the vote shit back yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. all you gotta do is put some shit in hip hop songs hey, they, 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 they think they touching us hey Diddy one I still nigga got my t shirt nigga one of the things that I that I said all, like in the beginning of the pandemic too was that if people are so like like. And anti everything. Mm-hmm. So so if they would have handled it this way, everybody would have, you know, been mad at them. If they didn't handle if they handled it this way, everybody would be mad. So because like we shut down, everybody was mad, like, oh, you can't shut us down. Da, da, da. But if they had not said anything and just let every people everybody just yeah. walk around oh, and keep been dead, bro. In, everybody oh, passed. Been dead, bro. So everybody would have been up in arms at the <laughs> Patrick said I would have been dead. Every, I probably would have been dead. Everybody but I was in the streets last year, boy. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like every, everybody would have been mad at the government, like, oh y'all knew this shit was out here and y'all didn't do anything about it. I was it. at crumble cookies once a week. But I was I I was home in Florida. But we still don't treat COVID like it like it's a real thing. Y'all it's need Florida. Wild West. You know what I'm saying? It's either way, either Florida all the and Texas. We, I love them. We all good on the, the COVID stuff. Yeah. All right. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Since we are talking about the COVID thing, are y'all getting booster shots? Absolutely. Are they allowing us to? 
Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. I thought it was the age restriction right now on the booster shots. No. You can get it. I don't know. I know when I'm, when I'm, when it's up for me. When yeah, when I get never, something yeah. like I'm, when I'm, when I'm, you're yeah. eligible, will yeah. you get it? Even if you're will. well, now. Uh yeah yeah. Oh okay. So I believe. So I guess I'll be going to work tomorrow. And signing I, up for my shit. I believe. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. I, I, I believe in science, bro. Yes. No no and and what it is is I haven't read too much about it. I just I turned on my work phone on my way here. Yeah. And it was like the job is offering every janitor that wants one a COVID shot. <laughs> Bro. Look! Look at it. first of all. First of all, I say janitor. I say janitor, and I'm looking at Broderick. Broderick is like, nigga, you ain't no janitor. <laughs> it, it, it made me mad when he said no. it. And under the gift, my my father was a janitor for thirty-seven. Yeah, but he's not like, a janitor, yeah. bro. That's, that's what makes me mad. Is you know he's not. But, no. Whatever. Listen here, bro. Science is real. If you yeah. don't believe in science, man, no, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, love your love your loved ones. Protect yourself, please, please. Oh, please, I'm definitely going to get. Please one. get vaccinated, and if you're vaccinated, one. please get your booster shot. And all above all that, please wear your damn mask. I think I want to. I was in I was in Smiths the other day, and I seen this black lady with no mask, and she had a damn crystal necklace on, and I bet she thought she was getting protected by that shit. Nah, <laughs> and listen, oh, and listen you wild. Nah, fuck that. Hey, first fuck of all, you better get us canceled. Fuck that. Nah, you fuck can't that. come for the black I girls see, with I, the crystals on their head. Listen here, she had that shit in the sun all day, and guess where that shit protected her from? <laughs> Nothing. Not a goddamn Nothing. thing. Nothing. Because I was. Hey, bro, listen bro, here. Get us no, fuck that, bro. <laughs> fuck that. No, bro. Listen, listen, bro. listen, listen. Everybody hey, in Smiths. Talk about everybody girl. in Smiths had their fucking mask on except this fucking bitch. Did bro. you say something to her? No, it's I ain't said that. I'm about my fucking business. It, 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 it's actually funny that you said that because just now when I went to Smiths too, it, I had there was a bro, black lady in there. Bro, bro, black lady that shit. Crystals off. Bro, I didn't even know bro, she, she had a crystal on her neck, bro. I was like, I bet this dumb bitch feel like, like, like this shit is protecting like she, her, bro. Like she doing something. No, no, it's not. Whoa. No, it's Roger, not. Roger, Get your Roger. fucking vaccine. We don't say bitch. Get your bitch. mask. You know what? We don't say bitch. I don't, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> but she earned it. But she earned she it. She earned it because she pissed me off, bro. I said, I said, <laughs> No, but seriously, though. Like, seriously, though. She was the only one, bro, hey. in the fucking whole Smiths. And, like, Ooh, and, and, and she just thought, she, I was like, what the fuck, bro? Like, this, that, this easily could have been an issue, you know what I'm saying? Had somebody would have fucking felt a certain way. Hmm. I don't give a fuck. I'm a mama business. I'm masked up, so I'm vaccinated. I'm going to push my cart going on. But, like, this chick was I'm really going up, through. Baby. Either way, bro. Okay, check this out, man. I got upset. Sorry about that, ladies. No. I really don't use the B word. Um, <laughs> Carl Anthony Towns said he watches two gorillas fights to the death before every game. Hey, first of all, this is a crazy every segue. Subject, did you put every subject that he put on there in here? Hey, man, they were good conversations. Hey, they were great conversations. So check it out. Carl Anthony Towns said he watches two gorillas fight to the death before every game. All right? Do you know where that led us to? So check this out. I didn't, check, check I didn't this out. Google a motherfucker. First thing. of all, Y'all first of all, went on that fucking. Google First of tangent. all, everybody gets motivated differently, right? Yes. Okay. I'm not um, looking at monkeys. I, I don't know bro. if y'all played sports growing up. I, I did a little dibble dabble in sports. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Did. Sometimes I used to listen to a little hype music to get myself yeah. go, going. How did y'all, you know what I'm saying, get yourselves motivated? I, w- I wasn't watching fucking two dogs fight. My, For- best, my best football game in high school, I was drunk. Oh, wow. Okay, Corey. That's, that that's, explains I, a lot I, about you. She says a lot. I get it. I get it. And you know what school was against? No. Rancho. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. What about you, Ray? Uh, I never had anything that actually like hyped me up like that. Like I told y'all, like I shit, I work out to R and B music and shit. So yeah. I mean, so it just focuses. Oh, weird ass dude. It um, focuses me. Where the fuck do you even find two gorillas fighting to the death on the internet? I found it on YouTube. Literally on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Did you search it after you yeah, realized this? What do you do. think the gorillas are fighting over? Territory. It's gotta, it's gotta be pussy, right? Shut up. Corey. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Pussy. <laughs> First of all, Ronaldo. Damn. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I mean, Shit. you went bananas, and I thought banana was like going to be like the the stupid obvious joke. But you said pussy. And I was like, whoa. It's gotta be <laughs> like, damn. Yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta These be. These two motherfuckers. Yeah. Um, These you know, two motherfuckers. Do you think wild. something's wrong with Car Anthony Town? No, no, no. Nah. He just like to get hyped up. Oh shit! You think you think that's 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 normal? Like, no, no, I don't think it's normal. It's definitely not normal. <laughs> it's definitely not normal. It's definitely but not hey, normal. I'm not gonna knock that man for what he gonna do. Cause just, I'm, just imagine, just imagine you in the locker room. You're like, hey man, you ready to get this game started? And, you, and he got a fucking two monkeys fighting on, on the screen. Hey. I'm, 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 I'm telling coach. Hey, <laughs> hey listen, I'm telling coach. Hey, like, hey, hey man, you want to talk to Carl? Hey man, go hey, talk listen. to Carl. He got so much damn money, he might fly in two new monkeys every week. And every, I'm fighting every game, there. Man, I'm fighting each other in the back. Yeah, nah, bro. 
Mm-mm. Hey, um, Coach, you got to go talk to Carl, man. He in there watching right, the monkeys the, again. You, so you got the talent, man. Do the one got to go, dog. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to skip the who is the chicken sandwich king because we, we, we did that. We did, we did that and we did NBA Top 75. Um, We got another subject here. Oh, we do? What the F is Kevin Gates talking about now? Did y'all even read the article, though? Boy, I man. did not click on it. So, I, no, I clicked so on it. So let's not even get into well, that. Kevin Gates said males should not ejaculate yeah, during sex. Yeah, he says men shouldn't ejaculate. He's talking about semen retention. Should we deep dive deep into that? Do y'all know what semen retention is? I know it's like having sex without actually ejaculating, correct? Yes, without without nothing. Yeah. Um, not going to happen, Kevin. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Not going to happen. Uh, if I'm in there, I'm in there. Do, do y'all know the benefits of sperm I've heard. I've heard a lot of, it's, it's supposed to be a lot of health benefits for it. It's supposed what? to be a lot of benefits for it. So do we want to skip that? Or we just no. I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm learning I mean, something. I'm, 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 I mean, I've heard of sperm retention from friends, and they were like, "Yo, it's like one of the best forms of discipline that you can possibly have, and you also like boost testosterone." Boy, I can barely eat pineapples on the fucking regular. I don't fuck. I'm gonna discipline myself. I f- fucking. I'm, I'm. I feel like that's how people turn into serial killers. Semen oh, retention. because they because they can't nut. Yeah, they like you're you're holding on to. But like, they're making the choice not to though. In this situation, they are making a conscious decision. So everybody, everybody every, all of us have seen American Pie. So we talking about fucking Finch when when what you call it, mom showed up and he was like, Nah, I'm fucking over here. Namaste. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm good. Somebody gonna get this. Fire Come on, Roger. What you got? Uh no I'm just trying to uh get into this this um semen retention yeah um boom, boom boom it says while Kevin Gates' explanation of semen retention might raise some eyebrows it's actually an age old practice that's been around since the start of mankind according to Healthline there are some benefits to semen retention some people believe that it it improves the fertility mental and physical health as well as aids in spiritual growth for others it's the ultimate journey of self control. How do y'all feel about that? I, I mean, I guess I I can see what what he's saying, because especially with the um, what did you say, the reproductive or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, I understand. So like, oh. yeah, like man, if you you're trying to have kids or whatever, you know what? I guess, I guess that's the idea by saving yourself. Wait, guess, once a month for yeah. marriage? Well, not even for marriage, but but if you're trying to have kids, like you know what, you want to. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what that just was. You you kind of want to save. This is gonna sound real stupid. You want to you want to save up your load. Basically, you want to you want to stack your chips. So so you spray them everywhere. Well, yeah. yeah. There, there's, there's been times where I've had to. You want to stack up your chips so I've, you I've can make sure. That. Yeah, so you yeah. can make sure that you yeah getting the good stuff. Out yeah. So I, I mean, I don't believe in it. And like as a discipline thing wise, like I'm pretty sure. Like if you had like a porn addiction or like a jacket off addiction, you might want to fucking calm it down. Calm it down a little calm bit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You might just want to freaking chill out. But um, because you're basically you know running the well dry yeah. at that point. I'm taking notes. But um, you ain't having no kids. No more time, kids. Son. Oh, I do not have no kids. No one's no. Right. So, but um, you can as sperm retention. Keep um, that faucet running. I gotta shoot off. I gotta. I gotta. Ah. I gotta, yeah. I gotta, I got to. I got to. Yeah. Um, so, um, how was your part? How does I, I would like to know how a woman feels with it. It's definitely got to be a mutual thing. You can't just be like, "Hey, I'm not going to freaking because, shoot off because, because will she feel away if you don't?" Um, check, check, this question, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Okay, so here here brings up another question. Man, question. have you ever faked, faked an orgasm? On Absolutely, a on a woman. I have. Uh, I definitely, I, I've done it several times. Yes. I done it look at several Corey, times. Look at Corey, look at bro, but, 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 but this here, but this here. That's a no for Corey. It's, 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 Corey's like, but no, listen, time I'm out, time out. But time out though, time I'm out though. Bust check this nut. out, check this out. Like it had nothing to do with my partner. She might not, but she. It had nothing to do with my partner. Oh yeah, of course. you had some you know drug dick. Listen, I've been, yes. okay. I, I, I've been, yes. on, I've been on the drugs, bro, yeah. and, and fucking, I've been fucking for hours, and, yeah. and, and she like, been yeah. like, nigga, you gotta, you, so when that <laughs> you got to go, go. Off me. Yeah. and I, I yo, bro, I, bro, I took, I've done the nastiest, <laughs> <laughs> bro, like literally spit. Why, Bradrick? Why, Because I'm a nasty motherfucker. <laughs> 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 and, and, and put on, like, oh, I'm done. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm finished. Mm. This is what it is. 
So I, I okay. I don't think I've yes. actually, I've actually I've done been, that. I've been, I've, I mean, not not the spit thing. Not but, the spit. But I mean, but just, I've been I've been yeah. fucking so long that I I I I'm, I'm yeah. You know, you know what I'm done. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I had not know that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I did. I did have a girl. I had plenty of drunk. I did have a girl be like, bro, like nigga, like. I thought that shit. All, that shit happens to me. This girl fucked me eight <laughs> times in one day. This is why. This is why I can't drink. Okay. Anderson, by the way, we're not talking about that anymore. Corey, fuck eight times in one day. I was like, yo, I can't go no more. One gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, like sex it. stories. I like thank, it. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Roger. Chicken story. sandwiches. <laughs> thank, thank you, Roger. I appreciate that. Or liquor. <laughs> <laughs> one gotta go. What'd you say? I say no, Corey no. sex stories. Corey chicken sex stories. sandwiches. Number one. Oh, Corey, Number one. Corey, Corey sex stories. Corey, Corey sex stories. Corey sex stories. All right. <laughs> one gotta go, fellas. And this one's it's it's a fucking no brainer. It's I, think, a, I think it's actually easy too. Okay, it's, I feel like easy, we did this one but, already. But okay, if maybe we haven't done it in like a certain kind of context. Okay, so because throw, throw a different context in here. Okay, check this out. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if I can do this, but I, I, I was gonna. Let, let's just say the person and all of their works. Not even their works, because like I, I'm fine with that. Maybe like I was gonna say like um, sitcom think, TV shows, but I don't think I, Eddie Murphy's done one. So check this out. I think we're all gonna be one. Gotta go. Place. Eddie Murphy, Bernie Mac, Martin, or Dave Chappelle. You want me to go first? I mean, Whatever. like, what are we taking them out as in? Like, one of I mean, they're comedians. I guess so. And but, I mean, but you would say I would I would say every, every all of their work. All so of their work. So you're talking movies. All TV of their work has gotta go. I can go first. Comedy special. I can go first. Please go first. I will. I Eddie, will Eddie Murphy's the only one that's got a fucking album out of the four of them. I can tell you right a now. Great album. Who mm. who has to go? I is fucking like Martin. To party out of all them, Martin? Yes, Martin has to go. You gotta go. Bernie Mac's going for me. This motherfucker, unplug his shit oh. right now. I, this right is now, why I think we're all we're all gonna be. Dead. Or it might be, or it's close with him and Eddie Murphy. No, okay. because anyway. Dave Chappelle <laughs> and Martin are going nowhere. And Martin got to go, bro. I'm, I'm about to be triggered. All of Martin fun, all of Martin movies, bro. <laughs> Bro, I, can, bro, I can watch Eddie Blue Streak to this day. He said Eddie Murphy. I can watch, season, Blue, Martin, I can watch Blue Streak still to this Martin, day. Martin season one through three. Easy. Gotta go. Blue Streak is not going nowhere. Gotta go. No. Corey? Go ahead. Hey, you next. You finna say something wild. I swear to God, and I'm gonna fucking choke you. He's not gonna say Dave Chappelle. That's the only crazy thing you can say on this list. As much as I love this person. Oh, my God. And I watch their fucking... Eddie Murphy's gone. TV show. Nope. And I can watch their TV show right now and watch it for 24 hours straight and still laugh and watch every single season and still laugh. Martin has to go. Wow. You you just okay, you just put Martin in a box. So you said all his movies. I mean all his TV shows. Think about his movies. Everything. No, he's saying he, like he watches everything. he watches God, Martin. Like, everything has all to go. Okay, but watch watch his movies though. His, his movies everything are good too. has to go. Oh, just good. Yeah, no, bro. No, bro. Everything has to no, go. No, bro. Everything has to go. No, bro. Everything. It has to go. Mart Martin. In his movies. Bad boys gotta go. Big Mama House gotta go. Yes. Big Mama's. <laughs> 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 Like, yes. First of all, you've made our point. Yeah. <laughs> like, first of all, yes. I, I, think, I, think, I think Martin would say, I think Martin would say, no, Big okay, Mama's okay, Gotta okay. Go. Okay, yes. hey, don't yeah. say, hey, National don't say, Security? Don't say Big Mama's House, too. Yeah. No, 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 no. National Security? Nothing to lose? Did this make a Big Mama's Mouse 3? No, yes. Don't, don't disrespect yeah, me. They, 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 Nothing don't to lose. Them. With his fucking great kid. movie. Blue Street, great movie. Uh, who Life. Was, who was in Blue Street? Life. And who was in Blue Street? I don't care. Dave Chappelle. Life. Dave was in there. Yeah. A thin line between love and hate. Boomerang. House Party. He made. He's made great movies. Boomerang. Was in, but out of Mark all, was in Boomerang? yes, he was. He's the male guy. He was. He was the. He was the. Um, his homeboy. Yeah. No, Is you hitting Chris, the Chris Rock was the male Is you guy. hitting the Twizzard? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was messing with fucking David Allen Grill, yeah, when he was fucking working yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> don't you don't worry about what I'm doing. Yeah, when he almost burned down the fucking house. Yeah. Nah, hey, yo, bro. my shit on fire. Nah, bro. No. Yeah, he got to go. Nah, bro. I'm going against popular opinion. You, you better not say his fucking name. I'm, I'm going you. with Dave. <laughs> I'm going with Dave. 
You kill you. The, only, the, the main reason why, like, all of y'all, like, clearly just said, like, the thing, the reasons why you'd keep the other the other ones. So, Martin. Say, because Dave See, learned I told from y'all all of no, no, I told no, no. y'all we're going to be all of us no, going to be all over the place. Look, Martin is fucking hilarious. Yes. Like, he's fucking funny. Yes. All of his movies are good. Like, he's fucking hilarious. His stand-ups are fucking classic. Especially Big Mama House. Like, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> all of them are good. Fucking what, about big mama, what about Big Mama's House Three? Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy absolutely is not going any though. Eddie Murphy absolutely, and then no. and then the fact that think about the mo- going back to Martin. Think about the the two sets of movies. Think about Bad Boys, that whole fucking run, and then let's talk about life with him and Eddie Murphy. Like, come on, man! Like, 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 like him, and then you partner him with with other people. Like, dude, it's it's a no brainer. But how's Dave Chappelle going anywhere? Dave's going because Dave to me. Even though he is funny, he just doesn't have Enough the catalog. Bro, he doesn't have the catalog. No, that bro, they have. his show is hilarious. His stand-ups are hilarious. The movies he's he been in are have all been hilarious. Chappelle's show isn't better than Martin. Hands down, mm. ten times better than Martin. No, nigga, mm. I've cried. <laughs> no. I've cr- I mean, this is, you, know, no. you know, you know, you know what's so funny about Martin? Like the, the show is supposed to be relatable. Know what I'm saying, and I've gone through some certain things that Martin is going yeah, through. Yeah. Know what I'm saying, and that's why the shit's funny even now. Even though I watched it as a kid and even as an adult, the shit's still funny because I'm going through some of the same shit Martin has been through, right? Mm-hmm. But listen here, Dave Chappelle is hands down nigga, the I've, funniest shit nigga, that I've, I've ever cried, watched. I've cried I'm, watching Dave Chappelle, but, but but was it him or was it the rest of the skits? Because to it me, was it was Dave Chappelle. It was the scenario, bro. bro. I remember, I remember this this fucking skit like it was fucking no tomorrow, bro. Fucking when they did the road rules. Real world shit. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> die line, die line, nigga. Die line. <laughs> when the nigga was making some juices and smoothies and shit, he was like, look at me, America. <laughs> 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 nigga dropped the blood in the fucking so, juice. So but that shit was hilarious. This is how I'm but that's what I'm saying, though. It, was, it, was, it wasn't just him, though. Like, it was me, everybody America. else. So it's, it's a big ass to die. <laughs> so not only that, but he had Eddie Murphy's brother on the show. He had Charlie Murphy absolutely, on the show. Absolutely, so, absolutely. So and then like my favorite skit out of all of that was the one with him, with uh, Wayne Brady. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? That shit was fucking so, hilarious. So question: Why does Bernie get a pass? <clears throat> I I said I was going to take Bernie out. No, Bernie to me is just naturally funny. Okay. Like but, like all of his like his stand up specials, like all of the shit he did on Def Comedy Jam. Bernie's got to go. Be- Bernie is just naturally funny. Like I feel like Bernie is like the Bernie Mac show wasn't funny. Ro- Bar- Bar- that, I was going to say Bernie Mac show. That shit. Listen here, Bernie Mac show might be funnier than, that, than Chappelle show too. Like, that like Bernie Mac right show was fucking hilarious. Was fucking yeah. hilarious. Bro, I, I remember I actually got my wisdom teeth taken out. I got all four of my wisdom teeth taken out at the same time. Damn. And they gave me Percocets like for no tomorrow. Like, I was on Percocets the whole month. Uh-huh. And I fucking sat there. And that's when they put the Bernie Mac show on Netflix. And yeah. I sat there and watched the whole Yo, thing. Bernie Don't Mac get me wrong. Funny, funny. Funny show. Funny show. But it's not funny to Martin. Not funny to Martin. Uh-huh. And it's not funny to the Dave Chappelle show. Okay. And um, Eddie Murphy really never had a um, a, a sitcom. He didn't I, need he one. Don't, he don't so need listen, one. He didn't need one. He didn't need one. I, he didn't do TV. Also, I he didn't also need think one. this is a... Battle of generations between us. I don't think so. No, no, nah. Because all of them have crossed over into. What about the cold are you? Thirty one. Thirty one. We're almost. Go we're in our forties. No, she's just being nosy. We're in our forties. So I think you know, for him, even though you know Bernie Mac's material and you appreciate Bernie Mac. I just don't think Bernie Mac's catalog is that deep, bro. Like, was he in some like the funniest movie I remember Bernie Mac being in, bro? I think is head of state. Remember no life. He was in life. He was pretty funny in no, life. Friday. Nah, bro. Nah, he was pretty bro. funny. If, nah. like, but he only had nah. like a small nah, nah, scene. Nah, nah. The funniest movie that Bernie Mac was in was Soul. Soul, bro- Soul man. Soul brother. Soul. With, 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 with fucking Samuel. Samuel. That shit. It is was. It was the funny. Funniest. But but, movie. but it wasn't even promoted that heavy. Like it, it wasn't. It wasn't that be. big of a. That, that shit's fucking. Hilarious. I, I think bro, I watched that shit the other day. I don't I'm know, at bro. Work fucking crying. Head of state was pretty funny, bro. Head of State was funny. Well, fucking Bernie Mac in the and then, and then he's the same person like in everything he does. Like he doesn't change. Like he's he's always the same. He's always the same. Even in Mister Three Thousand, the baseball movie. Like, that was I was yo. That was, good he, movie. that was a great movie. That was a great movie. Still, he's still, <laughs> hey, great he's movie. still the same. He's, he's still the same person in great like all movie. of his movies. Again, 
His catalog though isn't that deep. Um, Reggie's so funny. His stand up is funny, and that's by uh, as far as it goes. Like his his guess who? Yeah, yeah. His yeah. stand up was I, funny. With, with Adam, uh, not Adam. Uh, Ashton Kutcher. Ash, Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His stand up was funny. And that's about he was it, in bro. Above the Rim. His stand up was funny, and that was about it, bro. Mm. Charlie's Mac? Angels, Bernie Mac. Nah, bro. Yeah. Bad Stop Santa like again. No, Bad Santa is good. His catalog's not that deep, bro. It's not. Pride. It's not Players Ball. Ocean's Eleven. Players Club. Players Club. My bad. Okay. Dollar Bill. He was pretty funny. <laughs> <Dollar> <laughs> Players Club. He was pretty funny. Yeah. Dollar Bill. You know what I'm saying? Come on, dog. Ooh, I don't wait for you to open that. Hey, man, we're gonna close it out anyway. All right, man. What else we got? That's it. I think that's it. Hey, man, that's all of the topics, my guy. That is everything. We have closed everything. I can't believe. I first of all, thank y'all for letting me uh, hold the tablet. And no, I think one, two, three, three of my things were on here. I was, I was the chicken sandwich, the cars and tells. No, I got another hot one that we got to talk about real quick. Let's go because we didn't talk about it at all. George, you better calm down. Somebody jumped in the inbox. Oh. Today. oh. Some real a, quick, a, a lady jumped into the inbox. A scammer. I no, we're not even going to say scammer. We're definitely going to say it was a scammer. But so not so. But not, right? I mean, we're going to say it was a scammer. But we're going to talk about the situation. Yes. And real quick, real quick, what happens? You yeah, know. Mm-hmm. First so, of all, we all we'll know of the term sugar daddy. Mm-hmm. Um, Reggie, can you explain what a sugar daddy is? No, I don't know. Oh, you know matter of fact, I think Corey has like sugar daddy stipulations. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like I don't know what a sugar daddy is. You're older <laughs> guy. You got gray hair. Come on, explain it to me. Explain it to a me, sugar, sugar daddy, daddy is a man who takes care, who just gives a woman money, a woman, a woman or women money. Okay. Just because of talking to him or being around him. Or okay. Okay. Then she ain't got to do nothing for her. And yes. Okay. Okay. And the opposite of that would be a sugar mama, a sugar mama, right? A, now, or a sugar baby. Yeah. And we, uh, I don't know. I don't think we, the person getting the money the is a sugar baby. He said I, the opposite. I, I don't think we, uh, we we talk about sugar mamas a lot. We always talk about, you know, it's sugar daddy season. Or girls talk about it's sugar daddy season. A sugar, a sugar mama, Refers to a woman, often one who is married, who gives financial support to a typical younger lover. Okay. All right. So we actually got a message today <laughs> in our group chat for our um, our podcast. Um, somebody slid in our DMs, talking real spicy. You know, talking, talking real spicy, talking the talk that I like, which was dollar signs. <laughs> And um, they this they they hilarious. they made a they shot they shot talking about um hey uh, young man I would like to take care of you and this and this and this and this and this and that and that and that and that and I was curious you know I I am the rambunctious young one of the group and I was a little curious about this proposal that this lady made so I wanted to find she, out she was offering what seven k a month I, listen I want to find out what um she's what she was first talking about the first response from Broderick was hilarious. Hey mama, I heard you looking for a sugar baby. Hey, that <laughs> shit, that shit right there. I said probably the funniest thing out of the whole thing because the way like you wasn't even like trying to like holler at her back like, hey cutie, like how you doing? Like uh, this nigga like went in the there point, like the uh, like I thought you trying to be a sugar mama. I said what's popping? I said I heard you out here being a sugar mama <laughs> with the with the looky eyes. Yeah, well, well <laughs> what it look like? You know what I'm saying, and then the, the person responded. Now, mind you. Mind you, like we're in the the age of scamming. Yes. Scamming is a really big thing uh, out here. Just take like, the the what? Like it? if if Better come over here. People okay. scam any kind of ways, and a big scam right now is this cash app scam, mm-hmm. where a motherfucker will say, "Hey, what's your cash app? You send me some money, and I'm gonna turn around, flip it, and I'm gonna send you back some money." You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people have been doing that. Like, yeah. And uh, she she responds, "How are you doing? I like to more. I like to know more about you before discussing the arrangement. So tell me." Do you live alone <laughs> or with family? You got a girlfriend or kids? I like this response. What state and city are you in now? So I'm alone in Vegas. I went to, I went to overseas for a year and came back. My wife left me. <laughs> my wife left me with my puppy. My bills are expensive now, and I'm home, and I don't want to go back overseas. So I would love some help. With the with the crying emoji. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I would love some help. She responds, Good, baby. I'm going to pay your weekly allowance via Cash App. I believe you have that. 
<laughs> and I respond, oh no, all I have is Apple Pay. Because <laughs> I protected myself, goddamn it. Because Apple Pay protects you, Cash App don't. <laughs> she said, okay, baby, I can afford 7000 in a week. Woo. And I'll see if your loyalty is true. Is true. And you have love to give, and I will increase it. Baby, you are rich, and I'm never going to lack anything if you are with me, and my love is pure. You're never going to lack anything. I said, what do I need to do? That's definitely <laughs> that's definitely a Nigerian scam. And how do I receive the money? <laughs> like, 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 I, feel here, like, I feel like Brody just signed up for 90 Day Fiance. It, did, it didn't come out that way like when I was reading it, but hearing you read it out loud, <laughs> Thank you. that's a Nigerian scam <laughs> right there. You. Baby, you are rich, and you will never have to worry about anything. <laughs> that is a Nigerian scam right there. Oh, Shit. Thank you, bro. And um, I didn't reply wow. after that. She she wanted me to like post fifty dollars and some shit, whatever, whatever, whatever. But hey, y'all, y'all be careful out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't get out here and get caught with these scams. Oh, I know man. times are hard. I know we know the holiday season is coming up, and people want to make extra money for their kids. Listen here. Look at Project with the PS. Just work. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, Just hey. work. Don't fall into these scams because people out here are trying to get theirs. You know what I'm saying? Protect you and yours. Go to work. And that's how you're gonna make some more money. We man. just don't give life lessons. We give good lessons. Come on. Facts. So hey man. What is it? It is the going away music. It's, it's time to go. Wow, wait, did I close out you a did. freaking podcast? Too? So hey, listen, we're the Kill Time Boys. We thank y'all for listening. Follow us on all social medias. You know what I'm saying? The Killing Time Podcast. Get your t-shirts. Please get your t-shirts. We need it. Hey, I want some different colors. Where the fuck is the sweat is at, cuz? Hey, time out. Okay. Time out. Hey, time out. I'm hey, waiting on something. All my followers, bro. Y'all can at least follow my, you know, follow the podcast. Buy some t-shirts, man. Buy some t-shirts. Support your boy. Hard out here. Support your boy. Support support the crew. Hey, it's, it's holiday season coming up. We, when we when we get we coming with sweatshirts and hoodies, right? Who, who put up this fucking Tito yes. that nobody ever opened? That's my Tito's. First of all, respect my Tito's. Your brother right. got that for me. We'll see y'all later. Hey.